Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Hello everyone and welcome to a special playoff edition of DrumRightTornadoes.tv on Squirtle. My name is Gene Carroll and I'm here with my partners Tony Harper and Gary Todd. We come to you live from Charles W. Shade, a shad or Stadium on the campus of Western Heights High School, where tonight your Drum Ride Tornadoes take on the Velma Alma Comets in the quarterfinals of the Oklahoma Class B State Football Playoffs. The Tornadoes will be the visiting team for tonight's contest. Uh, the Tornadoes come into tonight's game with a 12 0 record after a hard fought 60 54 victory over the Caddo Bruins last Friday night. Velma Alma 11 1 punched this ticket to the quarterfinals with a 56 40 win over the Garber Wolverines. These two teams have been on a collision course ever since the playoff bracket was released by the OSSAA. This matchup is, has a classic written all over tone, and I'm looking forward to getting it started. Uh, Velma Al will be the, probably the best team we've played since Regent Prep in week six. Um, they're big, quick, physical, and once again have a very good quarterback play like we saw last week from Caddo. Uh, the Tornadoes are pretty banged up with ankle issues by uh, Jackson Bolton and Kevin Gooch and Bryson Kelly. Uh, Tanner Willen's got a knee problem, Blower's a shoulder. But like most teams in this time of the year, the bumps and bruises are there. But the teams that overcome and adjust to these problems will probably win the game. Um, Tony, my keys to success tonight for the Tornadoes are to limit the big plays. Um, Velma Alma has a lot of uh, big plays in the course of the game, so we got to try to eliminate them. They're going to make their plays, but we're just going to have to eliminate uh, some, them making more of them. Um, we need to keep pressure on this quarterback, keep him in the pocket as we did last week. Hope we do a little better job. Um, be prepared for the motion. Um, watch a lot of film on them. They do a lot of motion and misdirection off the motion. And um, finally, do the best they can to use our ground game with Bryson Kelly and Jackson Mock and hopefully a much healthier Kevin Gooch. Tony, what, what do you think your, your, your thoughts on the keys of the night's game? Well, thank you, Gene. Um, what a setting here at Western Heights, huh? Yeah. Um, we are tornadoes have risen to the uh, quarterfinals in Class B football. As as the wind stuck up this year, so did the pride and the enthusiasm towards our team, coaching staff, preaching that our coaching staff preaching that believe in your believe in your team and believe in yourself. And boy, has that paid off, Gene. Uh, our opponent tonight comes into the game, kind of been there, done that. Uh, but for us, it's totally new territory. Uh, luckily, it's not new territory for our coaching staff. Uh, has been here and done that as players and coaches themselves. So we've got that working for us, that experience that the coaching uh, staff has uh, to help prepare our, our athletes. Uh, the Comets run a wide zone offense attack. We will split the wide outs. Uh, ac uh, they will split the wide outs, Acres and Walker. Uh, they'll split them out. They'll put them in motion. Uh, they'll they'll hand off. They'll they'll fake the handoff and pass. They'll, and so they're dangerous in that way. Uh, skilled players are well skilled for them. <laughs> uh, quarterback uh, Strickland is capable of hurting you with with his running ability or passing. Very accurate uh, on the on the run or in the pocket. Uh, defensive line presence. There's our fans, guys. They are all here. Trust me. 
Uh, we've got a great house packed tonight. Defensive line for them, the Comets, uh, some issues uh, that they bring to us. Uh, Sprigler, uh, he, he's number 20. He plays defensive end. He can hurt you. If you don't put a hat on him, he's 6'2", 220, and athletic. So we want to make sure we put a hat on him, Gene. Um, offensively up front, might see some changes depending on Jackson Bolton's uh, ability and, and how well he can uh, push off that an with that ankle injury. Uh, might put Tanner Willing at center and move Mr. Flexibility, uh, Chase Creepmore, uh, to guard. Um, so hopefully Bryson can go and we don't have to change too much. Uh, either way, I feel confident in our guys up in the trenches. Uh, it will determine our success, Gene. The Comets have some big mobility, uh, big, mobile, agile uh, players on the D-line. It's going to be our job to knock them back on their heels and give our gifted backs, uh, Kelly Gooch and Mock, just a crease. That's all those guys need, and they can do the rest. Um, can't let the wide receivers get behind us tonight. Uh, be sure to tackle well. Uh, keep keep them in sh uh, from having short yardage downs, and uh, stay to our, our identity. We want to do what it takes to stay within our identity, and if that means uh, in-game changes so that we can stay true to that, that's what we'll have to do. Um, I was around a lot of drum right people this week and, and went out to visit. Uh, I'm so glad that so many stepped up for our students to be able to make this trip, gave donations to our students to make this trip, and um, our, our, our staff and administration was great enough to get buses for them and get things for them, and we appreciate that. And so, uh, so, glad to, so glad to see that happen. I, was, I don't know all the names, and, and I can't even begin to come up with all the names, but those of you that gave uh, for our students to be able to make this trip, we appreciate you so much, and it's part of the Tornado uh, pride and what kind of hometown we're from. Gene? Yeah, we're, we're going to have the national anthem right now, folks. So, That's your national anthem for tonight's ball game. <coughs> uh, Western Heights has a pretty good setup here. They've got a video board down there that you probably saw, and it's pretty cool. So um, this is a nice event. Uh, not a lot of people get to practice on Thanksgiving week. Uh, we got two for the first time, and uh, I think we're soaking it all in. Um, <coughs> getting back to what Tony was saying about Velma Alma, I watched a lot about – Lots a lot of film on them. These guys are going to be a handful, um, but I think we're capable of, of uh, really doing well. It's just 
you know, in a game of football, you never know what's going to happen. So that's why we play the game. Yeah, we got here early and watched Sealing and uh, Sealing and uh, Willika, uh-huh. and uh, you know, nobody anticipated how that game was going to go, but we just seen one team take advantage of all the bounces, and another team, you know, just couldn't get it going, which they they probably wasn't like that all year. But tonight, it just wasn't their night, was it? No, sometimes sometimes the the ball bounces your way, and sometimes it doesn't. And, and you know, Willika had a very not a very good night, and. Uh, you know, you play a good team, and and that's what happens to you. So hopefully the Tornadoes have some uh, luck on their side tonight, some <coughs> juju in their corner, and we'll take everything we can because this is a good football team. These are two really good football teams going head-to-head. So we'll take a quick break. We'll be back with uh, Tornadoes football. You're, you're listening to the Tornadoes on Squirtle. Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success, so visit us today at theamgteam.com. Uh, we're back here at uh, Western Heights. Captains have made their ways on on the field um, for uh, Velma Alma. Their captains are Tyler Simpson, number forty, is Aiden Torres, number fifty three is Cooper Paramore, and the the last captain is number eight, Langston Walker. Good job with that one, Gene, reading those numbers. Hey, uh, I got a lot easier job for the Tornadoes, Captains. So, number seven, Cole Gregory. Number 28, Kevin Gooch. Number 81, Jonathan Chavez. And number one, Bryson Kelly. Well, you know, you never think that a game's won at the coin toss, but sometimes that would happen if the win was bad. But I think we got a good good night. I don't think it's very – the win's going to be a factor. It was earlier today, but not now. So, there's the flip. Looks like Drumright may have won this toss. Drumright did win. Let's see what they're going to do here. While we're waiting, we hope everybody out there had a good, safe Thanksgiving. Tornadoes won and elected to receive. So, uh, Velma will have the option of getting the ball in the second half first. So... Tornadoes want to set the tone on offense. I like that. Yeah, number 15, Landon Richardson will be kicking off for the Comets. And uh, Landon has the capability of kicking it deep, and there's nothing more we'd like for him to do. Right, Gene? Yeah, as long as he, if he can get it to number one and put it in his hands, we'll take that every time. So. Yes, sir. Well, it seems like we have some excitement here. We got The stands are full. Um, people are fired up about it and have been for, you know, all week long. So, uh, we're, we're excited. I'm excited about seeing this contest. I mean, like I said earlier in my opening, you know, these two teams have been on a collision course 
uh, to, to face one another, and here we are. And here comes your Velma Alma Comets making their way onto the field. They got looks like a hundred players, but <laughs> wow, <laughs> they got a lot of players. Yeah, it's a. I think every young man in their school's got a football uniform on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what you get when you check out your textbooks. You get a football helmet too. <laughs> Your tornadoes are down there gathered. They're getting ready to run through the uh, the Hawaiian theme tonight for the tonight's game. So if, wherever you're at, get on your feet. Here comes your tornadoes. There we go. There we go. Jackson Bolton again leads the tornadoes out. We like to see that, especially knowing he's fighting that ankle injury tonight. Him, Kevin Gooch. I'm just telling you, when you when you got an injury like that, it's an inner battle. You got to you got to battle it, and and uh, hopefully the adrenaline's kicking in and and helping that thing out. So we need Jackson. We need Jackson to be successful. But uh, you know, we'll see what happens. I, he was looking pretty good in warm up. So and he's a gamer. He's a fighter. He's not going to let it. If if he can go at all, he's going to go. Um. Also, he's in warm-ups watching Bryson throw the football, and he, he's pretty pumped up. He was trying to throw it through him. <laughs> he has been zip on it. Comet-like speed. Yeah, absolutely. So it's important for us to get off to a good start here tonight, uh, make sure that if they do kick an onside kick for us to secure it. Richardson, he's he's got a variety pack of kicks. So he can kick it anywhere. Yeah, he's he like I said a while ago. He can kick it deep. He can kick it uh, shallow. He can do just about anything you want to do with it. So here we go. We're moments away from the quarterfinal starting. Drum right. Tornadoes against. Making Dom history tonight, comments. Tony. Making history. Here we go. There it is. That's what we like. Kevin Gooch picks it up. Kevin gets it he close to the 48. They look like they may have recovered the ball. They have. And that was Landon Richardson and recovering the ball. It's not the start you're looking for. So Comets will take over on the 47, Gene? Yeah, I think Kevin wanted to make a play there. He'd probably been better off just go to the knee and take the ball right there. Especially being injured, but they come out in trips. They've got Akers and uh, Walker out, split out to the left of the quarterback Strickland. Looks like he got a quick start. But sure did. He stepped up open. there, delivered the ball to Walker, wasn't it, Gene? Yeah, he he came in motion, and now we're going to get a late hit on Jonathan Chavez over there. It really they had trips out to the left, and it looked like that Jace Riley number eleven got a quick start, didn't it? Yeah, and then. Walker drag across the middle there. Formation and it was wide open. Well, um, I don't think you could have a worse start than we've gotten. Well, we've had two plays and one a fumble and this one a reception and now a 15 yard penalty. So they're going to be set up shop just inside the drum right 15 at the 14 yard line. Yeah, it's a marathon though, not a sprint. They got they got Acres split wide to the left. Lyle in the backfield, Walker in motion. Takes a snap, keeps it. Quarterback keeps it, tries to get to the left. Looked like he pitched it at forward. the very end. That looked like a forward, forward pass. The referee's got it. Yep. Illegal forward handling, so that's that's going to be a penalty. Strickland. I don't know why why he wanted to do that, but um, he tried to shuttle the ball off to Walker. Yep, sure did. We had tornadoes out there on the coverage, so. I, I, that's a good catch by the red, white hat there. He saw it plainly, so he's got responsibility of the quarterback, so it was an easy call for him, and I'm glad he got that. Lost a down, too, Tony, so it, they're going yeah. to lose yardage plus be second down here. So that's going to bring up second. A little over 10 for the Comets. Now they got twins to the right. 
Walker and Akers split out to the right. Lyle in the backfield with Strickland. Tornadoes with three down linemen. High snap, has trouble with it. Tornadoes back there immediately. Quarterback cuts it off to the left. Maybe a, a little bit of a gain. Uh, Chavez was out there. Who else was out there, Bryson? Or? I couldn't see that, but well, that quarterback made it. Made something out of nothing there. He gained about three yards, two yards at least. Can you? Did you see which D lineman for us got back there and caused a little problem for him? I believe it may have been Owen, but I'm not sure. It probably was if Owen he's on Gray. that right side over there. Yeah. Here they go, same formation. Third down, high snap, he takes it. Avoids being tackled, still on his feet. Owen had a chance to get him there in the backfield. Got to keep your head up, brother. Keep Chase, your head up. Chase Blower's tornado that brought him down. Fourth down. And Fourth and two here. Two for the Comets. This would be a big stop. Change the momentum here if we can get this this stop here. Yeah, Owen Gray's getting good penetration over there. Just got to wrap him up. So here we go. We got split right. Quarterback takes it up the middle. Oh. Rolls. Still on his feet, brought down. I think the tornado's got the stop, I Gene. Think he's, I think he's past it. Bryson Kelly. Because I want to be wrong, Tony. Bryson Kelly motioned that he thought it was our ball, I think. Well, yeah, but he's not wearing that white hat. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, he's not going to be able to make that I mean, call for Have us. you seen games where they're both pointing di each direction, you know? Host of tornadoes over there, though. Uh, too this, many of them to call. This would be humongous if we could get this stop right here. At least they don't have far to go to measure. I believe Bryson Kelly and uh, Cole on. Gregory and Be sure. Jonathan Chavez Be sure. was all over there sure, on the baby. stop. Yes, sir. We got the yeah. stop. That's a big, that's Whoop. a big stop for the tornadoes right there. We like that kind of party. I tell you what, it started out bad, but man, it ended up good, Tony. And that's right. With 10:28 left in the first, we. That's overcoming some adversity, Gene. Yeah, and you're going to have that throughout the game. We're going to see what happens. But Big Jackson Bolton's out there doing the snapping. See if we can't make it hurt right here. It's really good to see. Tornado's got twins to the uh, quarterback's left. Bryson takes a snap. Bryson Kelly makes a move. Oh, Bryson right. Kelly to the 20. Go, Bryson. Bryson Kelly cuts it back up inside. Great run by Bryson Kelly. Oh, man. Awesome. Tyler Simpson on the stop. For the Comets, uh, that's the way you want to start your O off with, right? Yeah, it's about a 33-yard 33 33-yard 33 gain right there. You can't you can't beat that. So, uh, Ed Bryson has that good vision and that patience, man, and that it just paid off right there. Plus, he's got a little speed on the outside. So, <laughs> just a little. I like to watch him run the football. Chavez and Mock split out to the left. Kelly takes a snap, looks. Now he takes off. Bryson Kelly up the middle. Bryson Kelly to the 50, maybe the 49. Uh, I think we're right at midfield, Tony, with another first down for the Tornadoes. Yeah, just gash that left side. 9.57 in the quarter. Twenty-four on the play clock. No rush there. So far, so good on offense. Chavez split out to the right, twins to the left. Chavez goes in motion. Gets Hand off to Jonathan Chavez. He's looking for some yardage. Picks up a few, Gene. Yeah, I kind of hurdle a guy that tried to go for his knee or his ankles right there. I think he picked up almost five yards, Tony. Landon Richardson on the tackle for the Comets. Yes, I. Yeah, he did. He got. He got almost. He got four. That's a good run by Jonathan. We used that that uh, play last week pretty good. We ran it and got about 50 yards, and both times they were called back. So that's good to get some positive yards out of that play. We need Jonathan to Twins have a big come game up tonight. Kind of sure. a close twins over on the left. Bryson Kelly just takes a snap, goes to his right, breaks a few tackles, still on his feet. Bryson Kelly, Bryson Kelly, still rumbling. Stumbling, uh -oh. dragging them. What a run by Bryson. Woo! He carried two of them for about 25 yards. <laughs> and they kept punching at the ball and couldn't get him down. Punching at the ball, him. grabbing him. <laughs> uh, 
Everybody got a free ride there for a little while. Man, what a what a play. Well, we flipped the field almost completely here, Tony. We, we Now we've got the ball about the uh, nine-yard line, and they had it to begin there. So see if we can't punch it in right here. They took a ride on the BK1. I hope that train makes a lot of traffic. <laughs> no stops. First and goal. Chavez in motion. Hand off to Chavez. He's there. got a lot of running room, and he thought about cutting it up, but Jonathan still gained about, oh, three. What, you think he gained more? No, I can't even see through those kids yet, but I, I no. think he probably got at least two yards out of the deal. Yeah. I'll tell you something about Velma. They'll come up and put a lid on you, though. Right. They're sure tacklers. I think, uh, matter of fact, I think that was uh, Strickland <laughs> in on the stop with on Chavez. Twins to the right for the Tornadoes. Bryson Kelly takes it, looks for running room up the middle. Good open field tackle by uh, number 13 uh, for the Comets. Uh, That's Rocker Saner, isn't it? Or Sa uh, Saner? Saner. Rocker Saner. Yes, sir. Good call, Gene. So it, there was a hole there for a little while, but. The comments I watched last week on film, there would be a hole there for Garber, but they filled it really quick. Yeah, they do a good job of coming up and and uh, filling that gap. So we've got third and goal for the Tornadoes. Twins to the right. Jackson Mock in the backfield for the Tornadoes. Bryson, trouble with the snap, regains it, but he they're too good at defense. He's not going to be able to overcome that very easily. Believe it or not, it's looking like the same uh, thing that uh, Velma did on the other end. They they messed up a snap and lost yardage, so that's going to bring up, you know, fourth and goal from the nine-yard line, Tom. Right. Spig uh, Roderick Sp Spigler was one of the comments in on that play, and he we've mentioned him in pregame. He's He's dangerous at that defensive end. Tornado's come out with twins to the right. Bryson Kelly takes a snap, looks to go to the left. Now he cuts it back up. He's still looking for running. Oh, he's, he's got, got some. He's, he's in. Bryson down. Kelly, Tornado touchdown. That's a big run by Bryson. He didn't, didn't panic. Patience. He waited and uh, saw his opening and took advantage of it. Very patient, wasn't he? Oh, Just kept yeah, looking, he kept did. looking. Yeah, we like that. And so far, so good with Jackson Bolton uh, being able to play on that ankle, huh? Yeah, I mean, anything he gives us is a bonus, and we, we love him for it. So, Well, he, he's got a hard work ethic. Tornado's uh, wide receiver right and left. Bryson Kelly takes it, looks to his right, open. throws it deep. Carl Gregory is there. He got Two it. Point conversion is good. Woo! We so, like the way we started here good job. on offense. I, I, it started out terrible on first kickoff, but man, it's looking <laughs> good now. With 6 12 left in the first quarter, your Tornadoes are 8, Comets 0. We'll be back with the uh, kickoff. You're listening to the Dormite Tornado Football on Squirtle. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your... All right, we're back here at Western Heights. Your Tornadoes have taken an 8 to nothing lead here in the first quarter. Um, get ready to kick off here. I'm, ex I'm excited to see what we do here on this kickoff coverage. Yeah, me too, Gene. It's, um, it, it's such a crucial part of of any football, but in eight-man, it just seems like if you can get those guys 
If you can make it land on the 30, 25, and a kick it away from the only deep guy they got, you're you're in golden shape, right? Yeah, and, you know, and plus it gives your time, guys time to get down there and cover it too, so. Right. And Conrad, Conrad Reed has done a great job of that this year. Um, Missed tackle. Got some footwork back there, but we finally got him down. Uh, just short of 35. Um, Jagger Willing has showed up big on special teams ever since he's been in a tornado uniform, Gene. Yeah, he's he's done well. Played defense most of the second half last week and did well too. So we're excited to have him on wearing red and white. Yes, sir. See what we do on defense a little bit better this time. They got Acres and Walker split out now. They're putting uh, Walker in motion. They give him the ball. And then we said in pregame so, they do that, and he misses a tackle missed, and he's going to take it to the house to the com for the comments. Gene? This, this is going to be uh, a gentle comment, but that was terrible on the angle there for our defense. There, you, you can't take that angle and expect to get somebody down. So, is that us maybe uh, taking advantage of our maybe over pursuing or just bad angle? I just to me it's just bad angle. Yeah. Well, what little momentum we had is, is gone now, so see if we can't hold them out for the two-point conversion. There goes Strickland, quarterback no, he keeper. He did not get it. Tornadoes hold. We know how big that can be. Yeah, uh, Kevin, every point's precious, brother. Kevin Gooch, Jackson Mock, uh, Chase Creekmore. I believe it was all, all around them. Quarterback, I'm not sure who got the tackle, but they were all there. Well, that could be big. Yeah, absolutely. Every point we stop them from getting, that's huge. But uh, this is going to be a back and forth game. We all knew that, so we just got to be prepared for a long haul. We stayed true to our identity on that first drive, and I hope that doesn't change. We just uh, managed to do what we wanted to do. Uh, when we wanted to do it, we stayed clean uh, penalties. And um, Other than the late hit we had there on defense in the first right. quarter, we, we've done pretty well. Where are you going to have uh, got this Landon ball. Richardson? Kicking off for the Comets. He got the ball laying flat almost on the tee here, Tony. Yeah, so. he's not going to kick it deep. He, he does have the ability to kick it deep. I think he sees that number one down there and says, I'm not doing that. Probably very smart choice. There it goes, and he goes 10 yards. And That's a good job right there. Great job. That's Cole Gregory. <laughs> good hands, Cole, there. He's always able to corral that thing. When you have a kick like that on this turf, you never know how, where it's going to go. Good hands, Gregory. Man, he, he reeled one in for the tornado victory last week, didn't he? Absolutely. Uh, and Woo. as Gary was telling earlier, he <laughs> watched it over and it's just that catch was more and more amazing every time you rewatch it. So, Chavez to the right. Cole Gregory to the left. Jackson Mock in the backfield where Bryson Kelly takes the snap. Looks. Now he's scrambling. Takes it off to the right side, cuts it back up in. Uh, gave about three for Bryson and yeah. the Tornadoes. I, I think it, it, Chavez opened up late, but I think he was already determined to run that football, so that's something we can look at, look for later in the game probably. Uh, number 40, Aiden, uh, Aiden Torres on the play uh, for the Comets. And I believe number 15, Landon Richardson. Tornado's offense uh, line seemed to got a little push there with 5-10 left to go in the quarter. Um, I'm going to start watching that because this is a very talented defensive line for the Comets. Kelly takes a snap, goes to his left, still looking, so on his feet, takes a corner, knocked out of bounds by Strickland, number 10 for the Comets. Gene? Cole Gregory's out there making a good block on the edge at, at the wide rec receiver position. Feel notice there. I, uh, they had – little different wrinkle. They had somebody up front look like Blowers there. Right. Right behind the line. So Bryson's run was good enough for a tornado first down. So move them sticks. 
Yeah, we love that. 4.55 left to go in the quarter. Play clock on 29. Chavez brings the play in for the Tornadoes. Chavez and Mox put out to the left. And is that is that Chase Blowers at the Yep, at the up back there. Yep, up back. Kelly takes a snap, looks to run. He's met immediately. Great op- great tackle uh, by the Comets, number four. That quick was in there, shot the gap right there. And uh, I'm, you're not seeing that very often, but Bryson just uh, got caught in the backfield there. So uh, that's kind of new territory for him and us watching it all year long. Yeah, he timed it uh, that quick. Quick, number four, timed that, and uh, the line picked up on somebody. He shot through there and hit Bryson about the only place you really want to hit him, and that's about knee high. Yeah, and before he got started. so Right. <laughs> Two very valuable points for them. So we got uh, wide receiver right and left with Blowers. Kelly looks to throw. Oh, almost, almost broke a tackle, but uh, good defensive play by number 20, uh, Broderick. Spig- Sprig- uh, Spriggner. Spriggner. Yeah, get that out three yeah, times. He, uh, Spriggner. If he could have got it loose of that number 20 there, Cole was open down the field, but it's kind of hard when you're scrambling out there to try to try to find somebody downfield. So Tornadoes find themselves behind the sticks here, third and 13 at the Comets 45-yard line. Cole Gregory out to the left. Jonathan Chavez to the right. Bryson Kelly takes a snap, throws. Woo! Uh, Cole wasn't really ready for that one. <laughs> no, he, he didn't get to run his full route there, and <coughs> the ball was on him, and and uh, it was had, like you said, it had some heat on it. So, so it's going to bring up fourth and thirteen here. Probably going to quick kick this thing, punt it away. See if we can't pin them deep. We, maybe we can get one of those rolls they got this afternoon, Tony. Yeah, they. That was a good punt by Bryson no, Kelly. Nobody back for them. And it checks up just like you want it to on this Astro turf. They're going to get it on the 10. That, that worked out well for them, Gene. Yeah, make them go 90 yards here. Um, right, we'll take a quick break, Tony. We'll, we'll, we'll come back and. Uh, well, no, let's just leave it here. It looks like they're getting ready to go, Tone. So. Yeah, they're going, moving it down there pretty fast. I just want to say, in the earlier games, you know, I, I haven't seen a whole lot of high school games on on AstroTurf, but that, depending on how the ball hits it, it either checks up, stops right there, or it can roll for 15, 20 yards. Yeah. So they got uh, twins to the left of the quarterback, Strickland. Now they got a man in motion. Strickland takes it, slings it out to the running back, Lyle. Lyle breaks a tackle, still on his feet. There's a flag down and uh, eventually uh, brought down by uh, Jonathan Chavez. Yeah, they got a little block in the back here on their one of their wide receivers out here blocking. So that's going to bring that gain back 10 yards from the spot. It may have been Akers or, or uh, I think it was Riley, number 11. He's they checking did, out the game. They did a little... Uh, they had trips over here to the left, and then they run their runner back or the other receiver in motion, so they had all of them on one side here to try to outflank us. 3-10 left to go in the first. They have Akers and uh, Walker split out to the right. Right now they do anyway. Who knows? Now they've got trips. Trips right. With all that being said, Tony, it's still first and 10. Yeah. Strickland throws it out to Walker, and Walker tries a spin move, but I think Cole Gregory got him, didn't he? Yeah, he pushed him out of bounds there. If you're watching at home, and even up here in, li- at li- in live up here, you know, it's kind of weird seeing all that space there. They got that vinyl tape there. You can't really tell where he went out. So I'll bring up second and three for the Comets. Walker goes in motion, hands off to Walker. Yeah, great play. Tornado's got Gray. on that one really fast. Yeah, Owen Gray in the backfield again, along with Tanner Willing and Jackson Mock. Yeah, Emmett, they really got on that. They've seen that. They've seen film of that. They knew that was coming with 2.48 left to go in the first. 
Uh, twins split out to the left of the quarterback. Now we got trips. You got to know where that number eight is all the time. Strickland takes it, looks across the middle, hits Walker, his favorite receiver, brought down immediately by Kevin Gooch. I think he's going to have the first down, Tony. I had to go line to line, so I think they're there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is first down. Once you hit that white line, it's automatic. So, well, Kevin, they, they only got three. Kevin came up and made a good hit. Kevin on him. did. He come up, made a stick on him. Might have been third and four he, instead of third and three. We'd have been in good shape, right? You know, he, and it, or he could have took it to the house, but <laughs> Kevin made sure he didn't. <laughs> so we got first. They got first and ten. Comets got first and ten with. Uh, and again, keep your eye on Walker. He's dangerous. Strickland takes a snap. Looks. They're looking for him. To his left. He's scrambling now. Got some heat on him. Chase Byers put some heat on him, but he breaks the tackle. He's still on his feet. Makes it past the 50. So and here comes out of out. nowhere. Bryson Kelly comes from about 30 yards back and probably saved a touchdown, Gene. Yeah, we are going to have to do a better job over there of shoving him out of bounds because it looked like he was out, but yeah. you couldn't. I mean, I guess the referees have a lot better view than we do, but it looked like he went out. But uh, – don't assume anything. Get him out of bounds. No, that's that's right. And it did look like he was out, but, again, their angle's a lot better than ours. So they got uh, twins to the right. Quarterback uh, fakes the handoff, keeps it, and he's brought down. Good play by Tanner Willing. Owen, Owen was in the backfield, but he tackled the guy without the ball. So. Yeah, well, he made sure he didn't <laughs> go anywhere. Yeah, he just needs to keep his head up and, and – for some reason, he had his head down the last few plays. Keep that head up, brother. Yeah, he is He is crashing through there every other play with 145 left to go in the quarter. Second down for the, and long for the Comets. Lyle in motion. Strickland throws the ball out there. They're giving him the catch, I guess. Akers is there on the reception, and I don't know. That looked like he trapped it. Gene? Yeah, if you saw that, then you got a lot better eyes than I did. <laughs> I, I could barely even see the ball. I got red-colored glasses on. Yeah. So, hey, uh, trips to the uh, – twins to the left for the quarterback. Lyle in the backfield. Strickland takes a snap on third down. High snap, had problems with it, and Owen Gray was there. Uh, Cole Gregory was also in there. Too. Cole Gregory. Good hey. defensive play by the Tornadoes. Going to bring up a fourth and six. Need to make another stop here on defense. Chase Creekmore playing a lot of nose guard tonight for the Tornadoes. Yep. Uh, with Jackson having an injury here. I like that pressure we're getting. In yeah, we're getting here we go. Strickland rolling under pressure. Throws the ball up. Akers was wide open. And he's going to take it in for the Comets. Gene. Well, well, we get pressure on him, and then we don't wrap him up. We're going to have to start tackling. And, it, you know, it's hard for a defensive back to cover somebody that long, so we're going to have to put the guy on the ground. We're doing a great job of getting in there. we just got to finish it. Yeah, I agree. And, you know, kudos to Strickland. He doesn't lose his composure. He keeps his head about him and sees the field. So good play by that quarterback for the Comets. 51 seconds left to go in the quarter. I like to take my chances with him being on the ground and not throwing the football. Mm-hmm. Got a single out to the right of the quarterback with Lyle in the backfield. Tornadoes adjust on defense. Snap. Quarterback's looking to the left. Stumbles. He's mad. Oh, great play by Jonathan Chavez. Great play. Great wrap up by open, Jonathan open Chavez. Open tackle. Wrapped up and drove him backwards. That's what you love to see. See if those four points that, that Velma's left out there comes back to haunt them, hopefully. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll take a quick break with the kickoff. Uh, you're listening to Tornadoes Football on Squirtle. Business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. 
For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. All right, we're back here at uh, Western Heights. Uh, your tornadoes are trailing 12 to 8 with 51 seconds left in the first quarter. Uh, Richardson's about to kick off for Velma. <coughs> Looks like he's probably going to lay that thing on the. Oh, I hope it's upright. It is upright. Tony. Hey, here we go. And Landon Richardson, he, I've watched film of them play other teams, and he can boot the ball. He can get it. He can get it to the 15. He also used that side winder running on the ground kick, too. Yeah. He's got quite the arsenal. But this is a pooch, and it's fielded really nicely by the Tornadoes. Jonathan Chavez there getting on it. Yeah, Jonathan Chavez. Mm. Now, you love to see that. Just get on it. Yep. Gives us good field position on the 49-yard line. 47 seconds left to go. In the quarter. Well, they're going to put it right at the 5-0, so we're good there. We've got half the field to go. Get the lead back. And it, and it's uh, – watch shorter field when you get the ball there. Tornadoes with twins right, single to the left of the quarterback. Chavez in motion. Bryson Kelly keeps it, looking for the corner. And Strickland um, escorts Bryson out of bounds. I look for – I thought Chavez Chavez was going to be out there and lead block for him when they put him in motion, but Bryson out ran him to the corner there. Yeah. That looked like a new wrinkle. That's going to be second and very, very short. I think we can, we're doing a good job of moving the football. We just uh, keep on pounding on them, Tony. Yeah, mock. Gregory out to the left. Chavez to the right. Chavez in motion. Kelly takes snap, looks, pumps, throws it out there to Chavez, and great job by the Comets defense. Um, they read that, seen it, and it's come up, kind made of that open field tackle. Slow developing, wasn't it? Right. Yeah, it took a little while. Four uh, quick again on the tackle for the Comets. 22 seconds left to go in the first. We're going to go ahead and run a play, or we're going to let the quarter run out. Looks like we're going to run a play. Try to get one off. Play clock's at 18. Game clock's at 5. Kelly takes it, rolls, throws, pumps, fakes, fake me out. pass. <laughs> he was going to throw it earlier to Jonathan, but he was covered, so fell to the ground. So that's going to end the first quarter, Tony, with the Tornadoes trailing. Velma Alva 12 to 8. We'll be back with the start of the second quarter. You're listening to Tornadoes Football on Squirtle. Is it time for your school or business to purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your. All right, we're back here for the start of the second quarter. Drumrod's got a fourth and eight. 
at the Velma Alma 48-yard line. We got twins uh, out to the right. Kelly takes it to the left, cuts it back up, got the first down. BK1 looking for the touchdown, brought down, good open field tackle. That's and that's going to be flag. That's horse collar. He got inside the pads there and brought him down. He, that's the only thing he could grab a hold of. Tyler Simpson, um, he had to grab what he could grab, and he did. Yeah, and we'll uh, take it. That's going to be half the distance to the goal. We're probably going to go what? Is it, what is it, the 12? We're probably going to go to the 6? Yes, sir. Oh, they got him for a face mask, not a oh, okay. collar. So. Whatever, whatever, we're still going half the distance. So... Bring up a first and goal for the Tornadoes at the six-yard line. That Bryson got that first down and more. So here we go. What a great, what a great play by the Tornadoes on fourth down. Twins to the right. Bryson Kelly takes it, goes to his left, looking, got, got the it. corner. Oh. BK one scores. Flag on the play. I think uh, Jackson uh, Mock here's got a two-point takedown. <laughs> if you're wrestling, coach. <laughs> so that's going that's going to drop us back ten yards from the spot of the foul. Uh. We can overcome. So it's just still going to be first and goal, but it's going to be from the uh, what uh, 17. 16-yard yeah. line. He just about took it out of the house on fourth and seven, so it just takes one play to get it back. <laughs> Trips to the right for the Tornadoes. Empty backfield. Bryson Kelly takes a snap from Jackson Bolton. Goes to his left. Breaks a tackle. Oh, still in his feet. feet. There it is. Tornado touchdown. Gene. Oh, what a balance. Balancing act there by Bryson to keep his feet. This kid's a threat to score every time he touches the football. Just what the doctor ordered. It's a big two-point conversion right here, Tony. Let's see if we can keep our streak of two points alive here. Can we get it? Yeah. We're one, right. we're one for one, and they're 0 for 2. So. Yeah. Drum right band, everybody sounds good tonight. Got the crowd going. It's almost like a home crowd. <laughs> Trips to the right for the Tornadoes. Bryson looks, throws, Got him. hits his man, Jonathan Chavez, reels him in for the Tornadoes. We ran a double double uh, uh, slant right there. He got the second one, so uh -huh. that's great. Great play call, great execution. We haven't seen that on the goal line this year. Oh, so. that's a new wrinkle. So it's tornadoes are taking the lead, uh, taking retaking the lead. Sixteen to twelve here. Well, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what we do here on defense. We've done a really good job of stopping them down there on when they're about to go in. Yeah. And like we said in the pregame, you know, they, they like to run the motion. They got us on that one motion play. Um, bad angle, right? Oh, yeah. But Can't let him get outside like that. The other thing that they really like to do, too, is uh, fake the handoff quarterback. Uh, fake the hand off to the left or right, and quarterback go the opposite direction off tackle. Gene. Yeah, they they run that. They'll run number eight in motion, and and uh, he'll clear out, and they'll leave that opening there off tackle for the quarterback run. So uh, they they got a, a good scheme on offense for sure. Something that I hope Oklahoma State would watch. <laughs> well, we know what the screen pass is if you're an Oklahoma State fan, right? So. Conrad Reed's going to be doing the kick in here. Conrad has done a really good job of placing the football where he needs to place it on the kickoff. And uh, Walker's over here about the 38. You always got to know where he is. Yep. Good kick by Conrad Bounce. and the Tornadoes. They filled it. Uh, Blocking the back. Simpson, I believe. It, it received the ball for the Comets. 
Might have had a block in the back there. Wasn't called by the official, but it's pretty still pretty good uh, field position if you're a tornado fan because usually they start about the 50 yard line. So right, I'll take that. Now let's bear down defense here and make a play. Right now uh, on the defensive front, you got Owen, Willing, and Blouser um, for the Tornadoes. Hopefully they can get a good push. Go off the right side. They're met by uh, Owen Gray and uh, Jackson Mock for the Tornadoes. Uh, Strickland on the carry for the Comets. Almost a five-yard pickup for them on that play. They've got twins out to the left. Strickland takes his snap. Quarterback. Comes to his right. Looking. Uh, brought out of bounds by Cole Gregory. Going to leave him just short of a first down by about a yard, Tony. Bring out third and a yard. Yeah, Cole came up really good there, but still third and short. And that, I'd love to see third and long instead of third and short every time. But um, Maybe we can get a bad pretty, snap or something here. They're hard to stop on third and short. Uh, defense makes an adjustment up front. Strickland takes it. He's looking up the hole. He got he got enough for the first down, brought down by Owen Gray. That Owen was in the backfield again, and then they, he followed the quarterback and went and made the tackle. So that was, that was Owen Gray on his own there. Extra effort by Owen. So they got a first and 10 with 10.52 in the quarter. 27 on the play clock. Twins out to the left. Strickland looks. Now he goes down the All middle right. of the field, airs it out. We got him. He dropped it in there. That's Guess Walker. who? Walker. That's Walker. Yeah. He's, he's dangerous at any time. Langston Walker uh, on the coverage for the Tornadoes was uh, Jonathan Chavez. And can't say it was bad coverage. Just He dropped it right in there where the only place he could put it. Gene? Yeah. Well, when you're a defensive back and you're trailing, that's never a good position to be in. So they got Walker split out to the left. Lyle in the backfield with Strickland. Strickland hands off to Lyle. There's balls on the ground. Oh, he recovers it. Strickland recovered it. He picks it up at the one and rolls in for the two-point conversion. I don't know. There's somebody else keeping the score for me, but they're, they're quick on the draw. <laughs> well, they are. Yeah. So, well, it's going to be back and forth, Tony. We know that. We just – just going to have to keep scoring with them, I guess. Yeah. And that's what they're it. saying on the other side, too. <laughs> yeah, so. we got to keep this ball rolling. Water. <clears throat> huh? Yeah, we're just going to have to. Get a break or two sometime down the road here. Keep things going. But, uh, yeah, we got a huge crowd tonight on both sides. I mean, I think we have more fans than they do. But If you're keeping count. Yeah. <laughs> since I'm a homer, I'm going to say that anyway. So, Ned, uh, we appreciate everybody that couldn't make it out to the game, that are li is listening from home. Um, we know there's a lot. A lot of tornadoes that since we started this year, we've gotten in contact with a lot of people, alumni that just has really enjoyed uh, being able to see their team play on Friday night. And they've really enjoyed watching this team play. And, and uh, Richardson got the ball teed high. Nope, he's not going to do it. Good job by Conrad Reed there, gathering that and going down to a knee. They give tornadoes. First and 10 at their own 47-yard line. Correction, the 48-yard line, so. See what kind of adjustment Velma's makes and see if we can't throw another wrinkle at him here. <clears throat> 
for those of you that haven't watched Bryson Kelly play this year, uh, you're getting a treat. This young man's uh, a gamer, and uh, tonight he's having a good game so far. Tornado's receiver right and left. Bryson looks to throw, does throw, hits, hits Cole Gregory. 30, 20, Mr. Good Hands takes it down to the 15 or inside. There's a flag, isn't there, Gene? Yeah, I think that's going to be a hel helmet opening tackle on them as well. So going to be a replay of the last series. But uh, that was a great little wrinkle there by Coach there when you draw that defense in and send the receiver out there and hit it to him in the last minute, and that worked out great. So. Not not an easy catch to make either, really, is it? I mean, that close to you? And no, but <laughs> as long as he don't drill you like he did earlier, you can pretty good shape of catching that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a personal foul face mask against them. So we're going to go again from the 14 to the 7. Half the distance to the goal. And it's going to bring up a first and goal for the Tornadoes. Just a little different wrinkle. We got uh, trips out to Bryson Kelly's right. Bryson takes a snap from Jackson Bolton. Great block Jonathan. by Jonathan. Bryce Kelly. Chase, Chase Bowers just blew up his man <laughs> number 20 there to get Bryson free. Great job, Chase Blyers. Good good vision by Bryson to see him wait and wait on that block and get in that end zone. Everything you said. Man, I I seen I seen uh I seen Chase Blyers make that block and I just kinda went speechless. But man, that the vision that Bryson has, we talked about it all year, Bryson Kelly and then but there's a lot of blocking going on. And uh, yeah, uh, most people wouldn't be patient enough to wait for that block, and he was so and right. it paid off. So Kevin Gooch in the backfield, Bryson Kelly. Bryson Kelly takes off to his left. He's got it. Bryson cuts it in. That's the way we like at the end, right, Gene? Yeah, absolutely. In Gets the end zone, more points than. Golly. All right, we'll take a quick break. Uh, We'll be back in the kickoff with 10-19 left before halftime. Your Tornadoes have regained the lead, 24-20. You're listening to Tornadoes Football. Friends, we are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success. So visit us today at theamgteam.com. All right, we're back with a kickoff. Your Tornadoes are leading 24-20 with 10-19 before halftime. Conrad Reed doing the kicking for the Tornadoes. I believe back deep for the uh, Comets, Tyler Simpson. Well, we told you this was going to be back and forth. We've already had four lead changes, and they're probably going to be more. So, the, the second the second line up there is very dangerous for the Comets. They got Walker, they got Acres, they got some of those guys. So we're he touched it. Get on touched it. it. There we go. I think Tornadoes have no, it. No, they didn't. And they, they got back on it. We had an opportunity to jump on it. We just didn't do it. Everything worked out the way we wanted it to. It touched them. They fumbled it, and we just couldn't get on it. So great execution by us and uh, good recovery by Velma. They're going to start at the Tornadoes inside the Tornado Territory. So, Comets have twins to the left. Lyle in the backfield with Strickland. Takes a snap, a little high. Tornado's all over it. That's Chase Blowers in the backfield there. Had him by the ankle. Wasn't going to let him go. And then the Cavalry came over to help finish it off. But 
That Chase Blyers is having a heck of a ball game so far. Chase Blyers, yeah, came in from the other side, got there quick. That's that penetration, man. It's, they're doing a great job up front on the D line of getting back here. So it's it's second and eleven uh, for the Comets with a uh, Lyle in motion. Strickland takes it, rolls to his left. Uh, no. Heaves it over the middle. We got a guy back there. Oh, that's offensive interference, isn't it, Gene? No, it looked like their feet got tangled up. It looked like incidental contact to me. But the official felt like Bryson gained the advantage by knocking him down. They're going to call that. So. Well, it looked like he, their feet did get tangled up. But yeah, usually they call that in, incidental contact. But Bryson was in a better position to catch the ball than the receiver was. Oh, maybe they're maybe they are. They're calling incidental contact, they're waving that flag off. No, huh. I don't know why he set the ball down. Why? They did call pass interference. So we're we're at a disadvantage, no. Tony. We're not on the home side to see the signal to the officials. <laughs> right. So that's going to give them a first down inside the thirty-five yard line. Anything but, but. It could have been worse. They could have caught it and ran for a touchdown, I guess. So. Yeah, we could have intercepted it. Yeah. I mean, it, we were in position to intercept it. So, they got a wide receiver out, split out to the uh, – Walker split out to the left. Strickland keeps it. That is the third time he's fumbled a snap, picked it up, and gained positive yardage. And Chase Blyers was in the backfield waiting for him to hand the ball off to Lyle. But he pulled it out and took it off the right side. Second and four. Some of those bounces are going their way right now. Yeah. Again, same set. Wide receiver split out to the uh, left. I believe that's Walker. And you got to watch him. He, he's a dangerous player for the Comets. Strickland takes a snap, hands off to Lyle. He's met pretty quick. Uh, Owen Gray, Tanner Willing, uh, and again, Chase Blowers uh, all up there. Every defensive line guy we had was made good penitent. Penet penetration, I'll get it out in a minute. Easy but, for you to say. Yeah, easy for me not to say. Uh, third and second. Bunch formation. Oh, they did the old trick. They got us, didn't they? Yeah, absolutely. We, they drew us uh, off side, and they're going to get a first down out of it. So. Got to watch the ball. Mm, that's a killer right there. The way we've been penetrating, they're – their offensive line, I just, ah, oh, that hurts. Well, we got them where we want them now, Tony. We, we can make a goal line stand here like we do, usually do down here in the red zone. Right. Twins out to the quarterback's left. Lyle in the backfield with Strickland. Strickland takes a snap, goes to his right. He's brought down immediately. Tanner Willing showed no mercy. I tell you, uh, I Jackson tell you, Mock. I got to tell you, Tony, it, it looked like the quarterback was passed. Past Tanner, and he just reached out there and grabbed him by the jersey and threw him down like a. Uh, Come on back here. Yeah, he said, no, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> That's a strong young man right there. He is. Second nine for the Comets. Twins to the left. Strickland rolls. Pass complete to Akers. Nobody really on the coverage for the tornadoes on that play, Gene. But. Yeah, they're 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 blocking our end there and getting to the outside, and and uh, we was running a little zone defense there, sit down there in that zone. Akers and Walker split out to the right of the quarterback, and they're both very capable receivers for the Comets. Third and short. Uh, Lyle in motion. Strickland throws it out to Walker. Uh, picks up a block. Now the Tornado's uh, Cole Gregory takes him out of bounds. Got the first down, so it's going to bring up a first and goal about the seven-yard line for the Comets. Be nice to get that third goal line <laughs> stand right here, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be nice to have a really bad snap. Yeah, not <laughs> get a bounce right for them, straight right. up to them, so. Wide twins to the left of the quarterback. Strickland sends Lyle in motion. Strickland rolls to his left. We got a guy out there covering him. He throws the ball up in the back side of the end zone. And that's Walker again. 
And, man, he walked the he walked the line back there and brought the ball down, didn't he? I thought Jonathan was going to get up and get that and knock it down. But yeah. he got behind us again. You, you know, it's tough to, to be a defensive back and have somebody behind you. But it is what it is. He's really accurate, too. The quarterback's really accurate when he has time. Well, there's our fifth lead change of the game. Five lead changes. We're not even to Hand half off to there. Lyle. Comets execute well on the extra on the two-point conversion. Comets 28. Tornadoes 24. 719. Left to go in the half. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. You're listening to Tornadoes Football on Squirtle. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. All right, we're back here at uh, Western Heights. The Tornadoes are trailing 28-24 with 719 left before half. Richardson about to kick off for uh, Velma. You know, if I had an early Christmas gift, it would be that he would kick it as deep as he can, but he's not going to. He's got it laying flat. Now we just need to get a good job where up front and just get on this thing, not try to do anything too cute. That about there it is. is. That's that Cole Gregory. Is. Yep. You know, he's going to secure it, and he does. And we're going to start inside Velma Alma territory at the 49-yard line. Good hands, Gregory. I don't think either defense have got an idea that we can stop one another. So, you know, just need to keep scoring. Team that stops them once or twice when it gets down to late will be the winner of this ball game for sure. I don't know if I can take another one like last week. <laughs> Trips to the right for the Tornadoes. Bryson Kelly takes a snap from Bolton. They blow it dead. We got a little. We got a little early start there, Tony. Gonna cost us five. Right now, we need a 55-yard play, Gene. Yeah, a little, you know, you don't think that these are, drummer's going to call a timeout here, but you don't think that these uh, little penalties hurt you, but you get behind the sticks and a good with a good defense and uh, makes it much more difficult. You know, the Tornadoes have been successful today on, you know, long yardage, fourth and seven, you know, third and 14 or whatever, but, you know, you keep putting yourself in that position and you're not going to be successful. Yeah, you just you can't live there. If you get if you get if you get out of those positions once or twice, you know, good deal, but you can't continually put yourself in those positions. Well, you know, this, this is a good ball game so far. If you're watching from home, I, I know you're thinking the same thing, although we're trailing by four right now, but this is a good football team we're playing. This is the quarterfinals. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be like this every week from here on out if you're fortunate enough to be there. Right, Gene? Yeah. I mean, it's a good time of the year if you're still playing football for sure. You know you're a good football team, and you know you're going to be playing a good football team. So, You know, Yale right now is they're playing over at Cashin, aren't they? Yale? Yeah, they're playing Bulldog. the O'Keen, O'Keen Whippets. Yep. I think coaches want an explanation here of what, 
what they had on the false start and who it was and what he did. So I think he's got that cleared up and he got the answer to his question and we're getting ready to come out and first and 15. <coughs> We've been trying to spread them out and put trips on one side and then send Bryson to the left here. Probably got a wrinkle out of that somewhere down the line. We've already showed two or three different plays we put in. We haven't ran this year. This is a bunch formation for us, right, Gene? Yeah. Bryson Kelly takes it to his left. Got a good block on the corner. A few yards uh, made. Uh, Got another flag down. Don't want. Again, a 13 on the play for Bryson Kelly and the Tornadoes, and we got it. that goes against us. They're calling the chop block. The old chop block. For you, those of you that don't know what that is, it's somebody engaged with a defensive lineman from the top, and one hits them at the bottom, or vice versa. Can't do that in high school football. That's a big one, though. That's a 15 yard penalty. Yeah. That's uh, that's not good timing on that either. No. Tom. When you think about all this, you, you would have had a gain of 13 yards, and now you got first and 22. Yeah, instead of maybe like in three tornado with the trips to the left of the quarterback, Bryson Kelly takes a snap, looks, goes up the middle, sees something he likes. Oh, almost slipped that tackle. Great tackle, though, uh, by the Comets. By Walker again. He's doing it both on defense and offense. It was just between him and Bryson there. He broke Come that up. tackle and it had been over. Tornadoes with maybe the longest second down they've had all year. 631 left to go in this quarter. Here we go. Let's get something going, guys. Gregory to the left, Chavez to the right, Bryson Kelly drops back, got plenty of time, Ryan's doing a great job, throws it down the middle of the field. Oh, the same play as, it's the same play that Bryson had where they tripped over their feet, they called a pass interference on us, but didn't call that one, so. Uh, sun again exactly. is shining brightly in Velma Alma. Yeah, man, that was a. Uh, I didn't know if Cole was going to come down that one, with that one or not. I don't know, but we had only had one receiver in the pattern here. Yeah. Trips to the right. Bryson Kelly takes it. A few yards gained on the play. Uh... Sprigner, number 20 uh, for the Comets. Um, well, what what I see here is they're, they're keying on him, and we're, we're going to have to run a reverse or something different here to get them to quit over-pursuing Bryson. So. Torres also on the stop for the Comets. Springs up fourth down for us. Looks like a punting situation, Gene. Yeah, they're going to quick kick this probably. Hopefully Bryson can get a good one off here. Oh, oh low. Mm. That thing's going to go out about the 47 yard 47. Line. That's that's probably not the best kick, but you know, it's still about where they would kick on a kickoff, so we right. we familiar territory with that, so well, those. we need to bow our neck right here on defense for sure. Stop them. Penalty's got us in that situation. and Can't get yourself out when you get that far behind us. So they've got trips out to the quarterback's right. He sends Walker in motion. Hands off to Walker. Walker got herded up pretty quick by number five, Jack Balls on the Jackson ground. Bolton. There's a fumble. He picked it back up and got it. My goodness, how many breaks can Jackson we Mock was out there for the Tornadoes. And, man, how fortunate is that? Put it on the ground, and you get it back in traffic. Well, we've got to make a, a tackle back there in the backfield. I mean, I'm sorry, but we have got to get the guy to the ground. It should have had that opportunity, but 
Also, they, the, the ball's bouncing right back to them. So. 4.50 left to go in the quarter. Twins to the left of the quarterback. Lyle in the backfield with Strickland. Takes a snap. And now Bla 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 Chase Flowers was chasing him. Uh, broke a tackle. Gained enough for a first down, Gene. And got a feel for Jackson Mock. He's had an opportunity two plays in a row to make a tackle for loss and, and just slipped through his hands. But um, they got a first down and driving. About the 35-yard line of the Tornadoes. Chase Blyers was in hot pursuit. Just couldn't get there fast enough. 430 left to go in the quarter. Comets driving. Twins to the left of the quarterback. That looked like he got a quick start there. Strickland rolls out, ball batted down. Good defensive play by Bryson Kelly, number one, Gene. Yeah, if you can't get to the quarterback, you get your hands up, and that's what happened that time when he knocked it down. Wish he'd have been able to catch that thing. <laughs> just looked like their wide receiver, to me, just sometimes almost flinch or just start a hair before the ball stamp. Uh, I didn't. I haven't watched that, but I will. Watch it out here. See, they don't do it all the time, but it's, when I was watching film last week, they got – Got away with that a few times. Trips to the left of the quarterback. Drops back, looks. He got a running head start that time. Play blown dead. Number eight was. Uh, Is that what they finally call it? Well, he was two he, yards downfield. Yeah, before that, that's he easy call. <laughs> that wasn't a flinch. No. 4 11 left to go in the quarter. Still second down for the Comets. Second and 15. It's a big series for our defense. We need to step up right here. Trips to the left. Strickland takes a snap. Comes He's under pressure coming. Jackson Mock was coming. He breaks, slips a tackle, still on his feet, walking the sidelines. Kevin Gooch drags him down before he crosses the goal. <coughs> Kevin gets him down on about the two or three yard line. They're saying four, but slips the tackle back on the 40. Um, in the back. Slips the tackle in the backfield. We got to run through the tackle, Gene. We have got to tackle. I mean, that's that's the problem. We've been in position to make a play. We just got to got to do the finishing the tackle. 18 on the play clock. Strickland takes a snap. High snap. Lyle up the middle. Walks in. Touchdown Comets. Well, we're in a position now that we haven't been down before two scores other than the Regent game, and uh, we'll see what we're made of here. Excuse me. You better get you a drink of water. Two-point conversion here. Strickland will take the snap. Puts Walker in motion. Strickland looking to pass. Throws one to Walker. Two-point conversion open. completed. So we're down 12 points with 344 left before halftime. Hey, if it was easy, everybody would do it. We're just going to have to uh, buckle up. That's right. And uh, we know tornadoes have the capability. I knew you were going to say that. I knew you, you, I knew, you knew I was going to say it, but it's true, isn't it? We've got the capability to come back and pull this thing out. We just limit our mistakes <clears throat> and start doing some fundamental things right on tackling just running through that tackle keeping our head up you know seeing what we're tackling we've you know, been in position for those tackles so uh, little little things that you you don't do get magnified to an extent during the playoffs and uh, your Achilles heel comes and finds you kind of like a ground ball find the worst player in baseball <laughs> or a fly ball that's what happens in football <laughs> Well, I do – some positives, I believe, so far tonight for the Tornadoes is the pressure that the defensive line has been able to execute. I've seen uh, Velma Alma play uh, on film three or four – three times this year. 
and nobody's got that kind of penetration with the defensive line that we've been able to do. However, we've got to wrap them up. We've got to make hay out of that, right? Let's see what he does here on the kick. Richardson, the ball is teed high, and he doesn't let it fly. And we got on it eventually. So I believe that was uh, Conrad Reed. Yeah, he made a great play. I'd like to see a couple more white shirts down there to try to get down there and help him gather it. But Well, we're not seeing a lot of this this year, but we're going to find out exactly what we're going to do here before halftime. Now, remember, the Velma gets the ball to start the second half, so this is one of the – this is the biggest drive of the game for the Tornado so far. We need to go down there and answer one of those scores. Let's go crazy right here. we got twins out to the right. Bryson Kelly takes a snap, heads to his left, gets a block, gets to the corner. Bryson Kelly makes it to almost a 41-yard line before he's ran out of bounds by, I believe, Tyler Simpson, number one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six comments over there to try to corral him yeah. there. Six out of eight. <laughs> hey, we got a first down. We're going to move the stick. There you go. Love that. So we don't have to go completely out of our character. No, but I think everybody senses how important this drive is here before half. Bryson with twins right. Looks, throws. Chavez complete. Rutgers, uh Santer out on the play for the Comets. Just short of a first down. Really close to. Tornadoes with twins to the left. Mock in the backfield with Bryson Kelly. Bryson Kelly looks, throws a dart. It's complete. Right at the 25-yard line with Chavez. Yeah, complete to Jonathan Chavez. And they're moving the sticks on that one, Gene. Oh, yeah, that was a good throw and catch. Just enough yardage to get the first down. Keep the drive alive. Two forty-five on the play clock. Or on the game clock, I'm sorry. Before half. Twins to the left. Bryson Lux goes to his left. Cuts it back up. Minimum game, if any. Great stop by the by the Comets defense. That's Sander again. Riker Sander, number 13, made the tackle there. Pretty and 19. Lost about Riley half Upshire. a yard. No, that was 13. Oh, okay. Second and 10 for the Tornadoes. Chavez splits out to the right. Twins to the left. Bryson Kelly takes a snap, goes to his left, looking for running room. Picked up about two yards and got out of bounds. Yep. Going to bring up a third and nine. 153 left to go in the quarter. Chavez and Gregory splits out to the right for the Tornadoes. Third down. Bryson Kelly takes a snap, looks right, pumps. Now he throws it. Got, Got a man. Oh! Just missed him. Just missed him. Jonathan Chavez. He was wide open. He was wide open there. Ball just on the throw a little bit. That's going to bring up fourth and fourth and nine. That was a good play design right there. We just got to execute. Yeah, it was drawn up well. Everything is what we needed. Didn't happen, though. Execution. 146 left. 22 on the, on the play clock. Trips out to the right for the Tornadoes. <clears throat> Big play for the Tornadoes right here. 
I don't want to see them get the Time ball out. back. So, yeah, I'd like to get this first down for sure. But we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back. You listen to Tornado's Football on Squirtle. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. a new phone system give the experts at versatile networks a call in most cases all right we're back here at western heights tornadoes have a fourth and nine with a minute 46 before the half big play right here for us yes sir trips out to the right bryson kelly takes it looks left oh. he's got a little pressure he gets it off oh ball just was knocked down by walker before it could get to chavez jonathan chavez was the intended receiver and yeah uh you know Langston Walker, give him credit. He's offense, defense for the Comets everywhere on the field. Gene? Yeah, he's, he's just a good player. Has been, senior. Been through the been through the mill, so he's been here a time or two. The, our defense has got to stop him here before halftime. Yeah, we've got, they've got trips out to the left, single to the right. Walker is out there by himself. Strickland takes a snap, looks, throws out to his left in the flats. Ball's complete. Missed tackle. Missed tackle once. He's coming across the, the field. He's coming across the field on us. Torres, and he's brought down by Cole Gregory. Come on, fellas. We got to make a tackle. Tyler Simpson on the Tyler Simpson was on the reception for the Comets, and Cole Gregory on the stop for the Tornadoes. And we we've got to we've got to start wrapping people up. But for some reason, it looks like we're playing a little tentatively. We need to get out of that. He told them to start the clock, and it just now started. Now they're stopping the play. Timeout, Tornadoes. We'll take a quick break. You're listening to Tornadoes Football on Squirtle. We can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. All right, we're back here at Western Heights. Uh, Bella Elma's got a first down at their 41-yard line, 42-yard line, I'm sorry, with a minute 21 left before half. Trips to the quarterback's left. Strickland takes a snap. He looks. He throws it to Walker. Green. Host of Tornadoes in on the play. Uh, one of the one guys that got there first, uh, Owen Gray, number 56, and uh, Jackson Mock. Tanner Mill Willing also. He, yeah. He, he kind of drug us for about three yards there. Yeah, so here we go. We got second down for the Comets. Trips out to the – there's that motion again before the play starts. Strickland uh, drops it off to Akers. Akers knocked out of bounds by the Tornadoes out there on the play. Uh, Jonathan Chavez. Jim. They had a guy out here blocking in the uh, – blocking. I don't know what they called. Yeah, they're calling offensive pass interference. Yeah. It's close to the ball being behind the line of scrimmage, but if you're, if you're behind the line of scrimmage, you can block, but, but you can't if the ball goes beyond. So that's a break for the Tornadoes, which we'll take. Not many have been going against Velma Alma tonight or any other night. Nope. So we might take them when we can. Yeah, still, you guys watch those receivers and you see if you don't think they get a little 
fast start. And he just told him to start the clock, and the clock hadn't started yet. Well, he's, he's going to have to have surgery on his rotator cuff because he still. is swinging that thing. And still. And still. There he goes. There. I don't know what it is with Velma and these clock keepers. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, they slipped it, slipped the tackle. Now he gets a completion out there to Akers. And there's again, I see out here on the on this side of the field, I see the receiver starting towards the line of scrimmage. Well, here, I got a flag here in my bag. Here, give me that yellow here, flag. I can hit it. You know I can throw it from out there. I can that far. I got the wind helping me and everything with 36 seconds left to go in the half. But it, like Gene always says, no flag didn't happen. That's right. Akers and Walker split out to the left of the quarterback while in the backfield. Tornadoes with a three-man defensive front. Strickland takes snap, looks. Now he's getting pressure. Now he's getting brought down, throws the ball out of bounds. Good defensive play by the Tornadoes on this on this series. Uh, Jackson, Jackson Mock on the play for the Tornadoes. Twenty-five seconds left to go in the half. For you guys that are watching high school football for for the first time in a while, they put that rule in where you can you can throw the ball away in high school football and not be intentional grounding if you're outside the box and it gets past the line of scrimmage. Wide receiver split to the right and left and quarterback. He should be punting this thing, Tony. And he's punting it. Walker punting it, flag down. Uh oh. False start. Yeah. So that's going to cost them five more yards. <laughs> Still going to be fourth down in about 13. Yes, sir. 23 before the half, 23 seconds before the half. Walker to do the punting for the Comets. <clears throat> get away and from it. Get, get away, away from, from that it. one. There we go. It's going to go right out just outside we'll the 40-yard line. With 15 seconds left before halftime, I don't know what the Tornadoes will do if they'll just take a knee and go in and uh, lick their wounds and make some adjustments and come out in the second half, or they want to try something here with 15 seconds left. I try Bryson right or left. Well, I think they've done that the last three series, and they've done a good job of bottling that up. So we may have to do something different. Well, that one went for pretty good yards when Bryson started to run and then pulled up and hit the receiver, right? That was a great play. I think if there's more time on the clock, Tony, we'll probably get a little aggressive, but right. we'll see what happens. Right. Well, we've got um, Cole Gregory and Jonathan Chavez split out to the right of the quarterback. Bison Kelly takes it, looks for a running room off the left side, doesn't find much, and uh, they can blow the whistle any time. Uh, I think there was only two players, 10 and 20, that didn't hit him on that play. Yeah, short yardage uh, game. Um, well, that, the clock hits <laughs> triple zeros. Your Tornadoes are trailing 36 to 24 at the half. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be some adjustments made. Uh, Velma's running off the field with a pep in the step. And we're kind of kind of in uh, daze right now. Hopefully well, that will change when uh, after we come out of the locker room. But uh, it will be a 20-minute halftime. We'll come back, talk about the adjustments made and what needs to be done and, and uh, hopefully better news. So have a good halftime, and we'll, we'll see you in a few. You're listening to Drum Mike Tornadoes on Scordal. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success. So visit us today at theamgteam.com.
Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maple's Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success, so visit us today at theamgteam.com. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. 
For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. high school streaming service scordle.tv find out more at scordle.com slash stream at maples nicks and deuce horse we've helped a lot of people and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend and as a friend we've got your back always we understand what you're going through being lawyers is what we do but it's not all that we are we care We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success, so visit us today at theamgteam.com. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. with 
Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon and Deuce of Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success, so visit us today at theamgteam.com. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon and Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. 
delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years, has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success, so visit us today at theamgteam.com. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maple's Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot. All right, we're back here. Uh, we got 15 seconds left before we start the second half plus the three-minute mandatory warm-up time. Um, before we start making adjustments, let's talk about some shout-outs to some people that are watching. Uh, Bruce Chandler, I think they're – Bruce and Angie are both in Florida. They're watching. Angie Bead. Watching and cheering on the Tornadoes and, and Owen Gray. Also, Shaley Foster's watching the game. Who, do you have anybody, Tony? Yeah, Shane and, and Robbie Bruce watching it. And, uh, Shane and Robbie Bruce? Shane I'm sure he's mad at you now. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I've been coughing my head off. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's, uh, Robbie Dorsey. There you go. Sorry. Really apologize, Robbie. But, uh, Amy and Terry in Illinois are watching Ruckman, of course. Tornadoes are making their way out on the field here for the three-minute warm-up. Pat, Renee Burden. So they're watching tonight. And Saw uh, saw a lot of people downstairs that I hadn't seen in years. I saw uh, Trayvon Overstreet, um, Billy Fowler, Mickey and Sherry Finley, uh, our our classmate, former Tornado great Larry Walsh's sister, uh, watching tonight. Mike, 
<clears throat> Mike and Sue Adams watching tonight. My aunt and uncle. Gerald Goforth and Brian Turner are both watching the game tonight. And uh, these are just ones that we've had call in and primarily want me to get a cough drop. And I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I, can't, I can't help it. Uh, Next year, Tony, I hope we have a access to like a chat line and we can watch it on. <laughs> watch live. it develop, yeah. Watch them give us the sh shout out. But getting back to the football game, um, obviously the Tornadoes are going to need to make some adjustments to uh, get this 12 points back and get back in the ball game. Uh, Velma's going to take the ball to start the second half, which obviously we're going to have to keep them out of the end zone and uh, maybe get the ball back and go score and cut this to a one-score game. Yeah, we got 52 seconds before we get ready. And I, I just want to say, uh, you know, we, we're in a position we haven't been in a lot this year. And uh, – I think if we just sew up some tackling, we we put more, we've got more defensive pressure on them, uh, getting through the front line, getting to the backfield than any other team I've seen on film, at least. Uh, we just gotta we just gotta run through our tackles and see what we're tackling and start getting that done. Well, what we're doing is a little arm tackling, and we, you're not gonna tackle anybody with an arm tackle. You're gonna have to put. Put, put, them, put them on the ground when you have a chance. Use your shoulders and wrap them up. My cousin Todd Holman said he's watching on the big screen at home. So, shout out to them. I talked to Mike Matherly in the stands there a second ago. Oh, yeah. Mike made it up. Him and Sherry. Uh, well, you know, Tony, before we get started, I want to tell you how much a pleasure it is me doing the game with you. I have fun and uh, hopefully people enjoy listening to us. I know they... They, they know that uh, they laugh at us all the time, which is fine. We're used to that. Well, I'm a homer. <laughs> uh, I admit it. And uh, if they wanted professional broadcasting, they, might, they came to the wrong guy with me. There you go. Uh, but uh, Well, if you're if you're listening at home, let's, let's get behind these tornadoes here and have a little 12-point comeback here starting right now. Our old buddy, Larry Walsh, his birthday today passed away, but – he would have said, we're not tackling. Oh, 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 that's our, that's, that's the gift we need right there. Oh, oh lucky bounces. Come around. Hey, they got that. They still haven't tackled him, Tony. Ball's no, on the ground. On, again, they, they blown dead. Now, I thought that was the break we were going to need right there. We haven't come up with a 50-50 ball yet. No. Uh, anyway, I mean, Velma's, Velma's maybe, this may be their year. They get all these breaks all year long, so. I mean, that, that was something we should have got on there, but couldn't get her done. Well, uh, here we go. So, we've got uh, Walker in motion for the Comets. He looks across the middle. He's got the time complete to Walker. He makes Walker He's gone. missed tackle. Walker's gone. We and, got a flag uh, down over here on this side. I don't know. Probably going to get our sideline for something, probably. See what they see what they'll sort this out here. Oh well, tornadoes are clapping. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, Tanner Willing liked it, so maybe a, maybe a block in the back. That's exactly what he called. Right here about the. Uh, 37 yard line, so we'll go back 10 from there, and it'll be first and first and whatever for the Velma Comets, Alma Comets here. I tell you what, that's a that's an island you don't want to be on one on one with Langston Walker. Yeah, he's he, gonna come out on the short end of the stick on that most times. <clears throat> he's very talented, and uh, you've seen it on display right there. He knows what to do when he's got the ball in his hands, so. It's going to be first and three and a half here. It's a good break for the Tornadoes, not giving up six, but. Comets. Walker split out by himself on the left. And goes Gives it to uh, that's a good, Lyle. There's a flag down. That's a good call by the referee right there. Dirty laundry. Number four there went low. Yeah, that's a block below the waist. Yeah, within three. Or is he calling that on us? 
Oh, he's calling that on Chase Blower is going low. <laughs> oh. Will you, will you help me out with that one? Well, no, the offense or defense, either one can go low like that. I mean, right? you can't cut the lead blocker. So they're they're saying that he did that. So well, uh, I seen quick number four go across there and hit someone below the knees in motion. I wish we could watch that again. We we, we can't. But it's going to give them a first down in at the tornado thirty yard line. Well, if there's a break to be had, Velma's going to get it, I can tell you. Right. <laughs> it got all of them tonight. That he started his motion. Yeah, they got to call that every now and then. We talked about that downstairs there. They've yeah. been doing that all night long. When I watched film on playing other, other teams, they did it. And, I mean, he <laughs> – The last time I checked, we're still in Oklahoma, not in Canada, so you can't get that running head start. Right. <laughs> we're not in the Canadian League. Walker split out to the left. Strickland looking. Pumps. Has time. Rolls to his right. Got to make a play. Cutting it upfield. Run right down. Tornadoes tackled by Cole Gregory. Um, well, what they did was oh, they ran everybody end. downfield down there and cleared it out. And he got on the edge and gained all that penalty yardage back. Bring up second four. Trips out to the right for the Comets. 10:41 in the quarter. Strickland drops back. He's got pressure. Owen Gray, Chase Blowers. Was Everybody took a shot at him, and finally Bryson Kelly takes him out of bounds. I think. That co co Coach Williams was giving them the business. You got to wrap up and tackle somebody. I thought we had him once. I thought we had him twice. And I thought the third time would be a charm, but it wasn't. Well, even with that being said, we got a third and six, or third and seven, Tony. So maybe we can, they're probably four down tier, or two down tier, whatever it is. Yeah. They're going to go for, on fourth down if they need to. Walker split out, high snap, hands it off to Lyle. Lyle up the middle. Uh on the play for the Tornadoes, number 69, Tanner Willing, number nine, Chase Blowers. And, big, uh, big fourth down play here for the Tornado defense, fourth and two. We've done well on fourth down tonight against them. Let's see if we can do it again. Walker split out for the Comets out to the left of the quarterback. Quarterback looks at the sidelines. Trying to draw them off, Tony. They're going to try that off sides. 9.50 left to go in the quarter. 13 on the play clock. May, they're going to take a timeout right here. With 9.39 in the third quarter, we'll take a quick break. Velma Alma timeout. So we'll be back with Tornadoes football. You're listening to Squirtle. A lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners, delivering measurable results for new. All right, we're back here at Western Heights. Big fourth down for the Tornado's defense. Gary Todd, mom's watching uh, the game at home tonight. Sherry Todd, we hope you're doing well. I had a great Thanksgiving. Strickland takes the ball, hands up the middle. He's got uh, it. Got it up for the first down. That play took a while to develop, and he still had time to go get that first down. So. Jackson Mock, Chase Blyers on the stop for the Tornadoes of the clock from here. So they got a first and ten. 
Quarterback Strickland's rolling, looking for Walker. Pass in the corner. Caught it, but he's out of bounds. Out of bounds. So I, I think that they remarked the field, as Gene mentioned, for our eight-man uh, playoff game, and I, I believe that kind of caught him off guard. He was looking at the – he thought he had plenty of running room, didn't he? Yeah, he, he thought he, he knew he was <laughs> in the end zone. Right. <laughs> Worked out well for us. It's hard to adjust on that. Up the middle for the Comets. On the stop for the Tornadoes. These guys are running Jackson hard. Jackson Mock. <laughs> yeah, Jackson Mock and uh, Tanner Willing. Bring it up second. It should be third down. Should be third. He there just flipped it. Down. He heard you, Gene. Yep. So they got twins to the right of the quarterback, uh, Akers and Walker. Uh, always keep an eye on those guys. Lyle in motion. Strickland rolls right, throws. Hey, Might have been he, out of bounds. I thought he was too. Akers had a foot out of bounds right there. Uh, they're saying he was in bounds, but he he clearly had one ball, one foot out of bounds, Gene. Uh, I I thought he did too, but I'm not down there, so well, I don't I'm think I know. That. I see. I know what my old eye showed me, and he had a foot out of bounds when he caught that. It don't matter what I think. It's what they think, and it's first down for the Comets. Walker out to the left. Strickland high snap, takes it up the middle. He's met immediately by Tanner Willing. Wrecking ball Willing said hello. It's going to bring up second and down uh, for the Comets. I think that's the first time we've got him in the backfield tonight, actually on the ground. Second down and goal. Lyle in motion, twins to the left. Strickland takes it, rolls left, looks to, breaks one tackle, throws it in the corner of the end zone off the intended receiver's hands. No flag on the play, Gene. Didn't, look, didn't look like me. Uh, Jackson uh, Mock looked like he had a beat on him, and then he kind of put a foot in the ground and <laughs> went by him. And, I think he probably could have ran for the touchdown, but he elected to throw it anyway and and uh, was incomplete, which is good. Bring up a third and goal from the five-yard line. Yeah. Jonathan Chavez was out on the coverage for the Tornadoes. So, twins to the left of the quarterback, Lyle in the backfield. Strickland looking to throw, pumps it, now rolls right. Gets in the corner. He's in. He's in. Cole, Cole Gregory's Gregory coming up limping. Yeah, Cole's <clears throat> shaking up on the play. Cole Gregory. Garrett Collins, number 22, checks in the game for the Tornadoes. <coughs> Nick, Cole's somebody you don't want uh, injured at this point in time if you, you know, you're going to, at any time, but, you know, you're going to be probably forced to pass here in a minute, right, Gene? Yeah, get behind by three scores you're gonna can't Strickland take the time. hands off to Lyle up the middle motions good by the referee says they got in so Comets 44 Tornadoes 24 746 left to go in the quarter we'll take a quick break you're listening to Tornadoes football on Scordal. 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives we are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success. So visit us today at theamgteam.com. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at. All right, we're back here at Western Heights. 
don't have good news to report to you. The Tornadoes are behind 44-24 with 7.46 left in the third quarter. Uh, the good news is there's a chance to come back here. The bad news is if we don't uh, uh, let that go and start afresh, then we're, you know, we're, we're going to let this bother us. We're going to have to come back and do the right thing, Tony. Richardson kicks off for the Comets. Oh, Conrad Reed was hit when he touched the ball. We still got on it, though, I think. And Jackson Mock, did Jackson Mock come away with that? I, I, either him or Gavin Brimmer, but it looked like Conrad did take a blow on that. Mm-hmm. Well, really, really, I hope he's okay after taking that hit. He was extended in the air, and the guy came in and hit him. And well, like, you, like you said earlier, Tony, we may have to start putting the ball in the air. Good to see Cole Gregory out there on the right side of the quarterback, wide receiver, and Jonathan Chavez to the left. Now he fakes the run. They looked to throw, but he was exactly covered. Again. Now he tried to dump it off to Jackson Mock, but Comets were there to bat the ball down. So brings up second down for the Tornadoes. We we were successful on that in the in the first half on that play, and they snuffed that one out for us. Hey, the good thing about eight-man football, you can score 20 points in no time, so we just need to keep that in mind right here on offense. Twins to the right for the Tornadoes. Mock in the backfield with Bryson. Bryson takes off to his left, breaks a tackle. Bryson Kelly gains a few yards. Enough for the first down, then Gene. Gets, then he gets hit about five yards out, out of bounds. bounds. No call. I don't understand that. He was... He was out of bounds. He was almost at the out of bounds line <laughs> on the big field here. Right. Maybe that'll fire Gosh. us up a little bit. I, I hope so. That's we need a spark here. Uh, a good run, good play by the Tornadoes. First and ten. Um, we got away with a little holding there on the edge, but they got away with a hit out of bounds. So. I, I, every time I say that, you say that it'll get a tick for tat. That don't mean anything here. <laughs> Come on, man. We got away with something. They got away with something. Hey, uh, got a timeout by the Tornadoes. Thought we were going to run a hurry-up play there for a minute, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I think the know. play clock might have been. It shouldn't have been, but it might no, have been. I know. It, it, that's the only reason why, I mean, maybe they've seen something. I don't know. Anyway, getting back to the ball game. <laughs> um, looks like we're moving it here on offense pretty good here. We need to go down and score for sure. We need to come back with a couple scores to make put some pressure on them at least. When you got a 20-point lead, you don't have much pressure. Well, that's a fact. You know, sometimes, sometimes you got to be fortunate to get all the breaks go your way. Sometimes, and and uh, that's happening on a regular basis. We hadn't caught many 50-50s tonight. Uh, Kevin Good split out to the wide, uh, to the right, and Chavez to the left with Cole Gregory. Cole Gregory's got an opening right there, but he, uh, Bryson Kelly, uh, tried to get it to Kevin Gooch. Strickland over there on the coverage for the Comets. I think the ball was thrown a little bit further to the outside. He may have had a chance, but they, were, they had two receivers running in the same area, so we brought two defenders over there. So we got second and ten. Good thing about it, the clock's not running. <laughs> yeah, and the trips, trips to the right. For the Tornadoes, Bryson Kelly looks, throws out in the flats. Jonathan Chavez caught it, fought for a few yards afterwards. Makes a couple of people miss and dancing along the side along there. Yeah, a lot of good things there. So, uh, going to bring up uh, third and about three. I blank Tony, and he three. stopped the clock again. So yeah, this guy's having trouble with the marker down there. Seven oh seven left 
on the clock. Trips to the to the quarterback's left this time. Bryson takes it, looks, goes to his left, still on his feet. Uh, he's down. He's down and yeah, the 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 uh, head linesman over here is pointing to the ground, which means that it's over. It looks like he's got the first down as well. Looks like he did pick up the first. So. He sure did. So there's a break for the tornadoes. We'll take. You don't get many against that's Felma. A, that's our first. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Six fifty-seven in the quarter. Clock running here. Well, hope should be. It should be, but hey, that's benefiting us now. So. Oh uh, yeah, we're not going to drop out that now. It's still isn't running. <laughs> He's wound it about ten times, but it's trips still not to running. the right. Still not running. <laughs> we snapped the ball. It started running. So, pass complete to Jonathan Chavez. Bryson Kelly to Chavez. Get down to about the 22-yard line of Velma for a first down. Moving the sticks. I was going to say that, there we go, it's running now. No, he, they picked up on that, I guess. Empty backfield. Three wide receivers to the left. Bryson Kelly hits Cole Gregory looking for an alley. Cole breaks a couple of tackles, pushed out of bounds. A gain of six, Gene. Yeah, I think it was six, almost seven yards there. If we can do that down the field and not take any time off, we might be all right. Yeah. Clock stopped again at 625. When you're down 20 points, the clock is not your friend. No, no. Second two for the Tornadoes as they break, break the huddle. Jonathan Chavez split to the left, or Cole Gregory split to the left, I'm sorry. Mock in motion. Bryson Kelly checks to his right. Now he takes it up the middle. And that gap closed quickly, but Bryson, uh, I believe, got enough for the first down, Gene. Yeah, I did too. I, I haven't seen him kill the clock. There they go. Killed it. It's going to bring up first and 10 from the 11-yard line. Now the clock. Now they going. started right on time. I, I, I didn't like it. it. <laughs> I like it when they don't start. Yeah. They, twins to the right. Bryson Kelly looks that way. Goes left. Breaks a tackle. Still on his feet. BK Warren touchdown for the Tornadoes. Wasn't going to be denied getting in that end zone right there. When he when he gets close to it, he sniffs it out and gets in there. Just an exceptional oh, athlete. Well, we got a flag down here, Gene. Yeah, they're going to call an unsportsmanlike conduct on Bryson, I'm afraid. Four? Something about the ball. I don't know exactly what what he heard, what he said. or. Gary, do you see anything? Oh, I see what he called. He called a delay game, not unsportsmanlike. So so when you, when you don't uh, give the ball quickly to the official, they say it. But I think he was throwing the ball to the official, but it is what it is. It's going to cost us five. They can take that on the on the extra point here, since it's a dead ball foul. Coach is down here <laughs> wanting an explanation, and trying to figure out what's going on. Hey, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna stand up for our kid because Bryson Kelly's not that kind of he's no, not that kind of kid. Not at all. So if they're, if they're saying he's done something that's un out of the uh, ordinary for him. so All he's done is play ball to the best of his ability all year. And and if that's something that, that you're going to nitpick in the middle of a playoff game, I, I'm not sure. But we're, needless to say here, we're going to do the two-point conversion from the three-yard line. So. Got, a, got a text from... And a guy that used to be an official, and you know him pretty well, says that ball was knocked out of his hand. Yeah. So I don't know. I, did, I didn't see it. So 
Um, well, he got. He well, got I'll take a, his word for it. <laughs> he got a five yard penalty for something someone else did. So awesome. Receivers to the right and left. Bryson Kelly takes a snap, rolls to his right, avoids being tackled, throws it up in the end zone, knocked down by the Comets. Pass incomplete, intended for Jonathan Chavez. Well, that was in big, that was big for us. Now uh, score here is even bigger to get a stop. We need a stop on defense here and get the ball back. There's plenty of time in this football game, and we can still come back and win this thing. But you got to know that you can do it. So, yep. I tell you what, though, I've been watching the interaction between the players a little bit, and there seems to be some jawing going on between the two teams. So maybe that'll maybe that'll do some good to get us pumped up a little bit and and uh, get us back in this ball game. So coach is still asking about that. Well, we're get, my phone's getting lit up with text from coaches and officials and everybody else saying that wasn't, didn't like that call. Hey, I want to give a shout out to Charles Carroll, someone you know real well. Uh, you shared the same birthdays. Yeah. Uh, and a good friend of mine not what you were saying earlier. Uh, you don't, uh, don't believe that, Charles. Well, like I said, Tony, this is, I sound like Brent Musburger on the water boy, but it is what it is. We need to make a stop right here. This is important. Mm-hmm. If you want to have any chance of winning this football game, we've got to keep these guys out of the end zone here. Most definitely. Conrad Reed getting ready to do the kick up, kicking for the Tornadoes. Glad to see Conrad back out there after taking that hit. Big time kick by Conrad. He fields it on the 28. Breaks a tackle. Simpson on the carry there. Took Got about three Tornadoes to get him out of bounds there. Kevin Gooch and, and uh, Jagger Willing. Over for the Tornadoes making the stop. Well, they're going to take over at their own 35-yard line. Um, that's the worst field position they've had in a while, Tony, so let's take advantage of it. Yeah. Uh, that's – we need everything we can get right now with five. I tell you 42. what we need is a break and a turnover one time. Nine on the play clock. Strickland, pass to Akers, complete. Out on the coverage for the Tornadoes, number 81, Jonathan Chavez. These guys know exactly where that white vinyl line is for <laughs> sure. They are all over it. Pick up a little over five there. Hmm. Just, Shout out to our <laughs> alumni of 1982, Jeff Lee. Watching it. Tonight from Tennessee, Strickland rolling, breaks a tackle. Two tackles. Nice run by Strickland. Good tackle by Kevin Gooch for the Tornadoes, number 28. Well, I can't say it enough. Well, you get an opportunity to tackle them in the backfield, you got to get that done. Yeah, we just – we've missed a lot of opportunities back there tonight, that's for sure. And uh, the guy – I, I don't know, Tony. Sorry about that. I don't Go know. ahead. No, you good. Walker split out to the left. Strickland hands the ball up to Lyle. Lyle a few, gains a few tough yards. Bryson Kelly uh, on the play. Chase Blowers and uh, Tanner Willing. That's a few six good yards there. It looked yeah, like almost six. We've got to have we've got to have some stops here. And uh, got it. I mean, I keep I keep begging for a turnover here. 4:49 left to go in the third. Velma's put the ball on the ground a couple of times. We just hadn't had a chance to get on it. Maybe they can do it again, Tony. If I keep Walker, saying it enough. Walker split out. Uh, looks like there's a good play by a Tornado defense right there. Tanner Willing. He'll have none of that going up the middle on Tanner. So great stop by. 
Tanner Willing. They giving them forward progress. The tornadoes. Wow. Back. Oh, wow. No gain on the play, I guess. Mm. Big third down here for the tornadoes on defense. Come on, fellas. Let's make a stop right here. There's your receiver leaving a little early. Okay. Now Walker. Yeah, complete Strickland complete to Walker out on the play for the Tornadoes. Uh, Jonathan Chavez. Right at the – oh, they're calling him back here at the – I like that kind of deal right there. Yeah. Said, he, it looked like to me he got at the stick for the first down and they uh, marked him back two yards short, which – 339 left to go in this quarter. Fourth and fourth and two. Fourth and two. Now's the time for Big Tanner Willing and the boys up front. Ah, he didn't get. Uh, he he's didn't got to it. watch the ball. It's right in front of you, brother. I'm not sure he got in the neutral zone myself, but the wide receiver over there, Langston, well, Walker never, called it for him and got her done. That's good. That's a good call by number eight right there. That's going to give them a big first down at the Tornado 40-yard line. Yeah. Was, could have done without that. Walker split out wide for the Comets. Hands off to Lyle. Lyle breaks a tackle, and then he's met. Uh, Bryson Kelly. Kevin uh, Gooch. Kevin Gooch. Chase Blowers. All on the stop for the Tornado 308. Left to go in the quarter. Uh, Got to be a sense of urgency here on defense here for the Tornadoes because I'm telling you, the season could be riding on this drive alone. We're going 9 Strickland nine, nine. got all day to pass. Let's it fly. Out on the coverage. Good breakup by Jonathan Chavez. Uh, that is a great play. I wish he'd have seen it, but it was <laughs> <laughs> it was a great play. I mean, two, that was a break we needed. Two forty-two left to go in a in a quarter. Um, phone keeps getting lit up by people at home watching, saying, "Don't think Tanner broke that. Don't think Tanner Willing broke that uh, line of scrimmage." Flag down, I'm marking it off. It's going to bring up second and long. Going our way with that one. Yeah, but the problem is that they get another play, and that means the clock keeps running. So, Right. It won't run on this because it's an incomplete pass, but still. Former, former alum, alumni, Clint, Clint Hart watching from home, supporting the Tornadoes. Strickland went trips out to the left. Strickland pumps, throws it out to the flats. I believe that's the Walker, his favorite receiver, wasn't it? Oh, I'm sure. I knew that was Oh, coming. Well, we have got to be more disciplined than Jackson that. Jackson Mock, Jonathan Chavez, out on the coverage. And we talked about this in the opening about this. Little things like that will get you beat, and that's what's, that's what's happening so far. Chase Creekmore, number 48, comes in the game for Tanner uh, Willing. Give him a breather. That's going to give them a first down deep in the side tornado territory at the 25-yard line. We have a the coach over there handing the flag to the official. You live long enough, you see a lot of things. Former coach I, I coached with, had an uh, opportunity to coach with, Ed Drumright, uh, Brandon Blizzard. Uh, following the tornadoes all year, been texting me and all year long. Just wanted to give a shout out to him, his family. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Handoff goes to Lyle. No, he faked it. He kept it. Tornadoes covered that one good. Uh, Owen Gray, uh, Chase Blowers, about the whole defensive line was in on that one. Uh, Strickland gets slow getting up there. He took a shot there. Velma is in no hurry to get started here. The clock no. is their friend. Two minutes left in the third quarter. Twins to the right for the Comets. Lyle in motion. Strickland takes it 
Rolls, okay. right, throws it up. I think we got this one. Oh, that was a dog fight back there, Gene. Yeah. That ball was getting ready to be intercepted by Kevin, and Walker became the defensive back. And He's a really he's really a good athlete. Always got good awareness. Of Walker for number eight for the Comets. Well, it's a big third down right here. Probably They'll probably go for it on fourth down, but let's hold them right here and make it hard on them on fourth down, guys. They're showing trips to the right. Third down, big third down for the Tornadoes. Lyle in motion, throws out, the, throws the ball to Lyle. He's missed. Balls on the ground. Balls on the ground. Tornadoes oh got my it for gosh, a minute, you're not and they got it. it back. Listen, you're not going to believe this, but Velma Alma got another break. I can't believe that. I mean, I, if I if I could, I'd take them to the casino tonight because I promise you those guys are winner, winner. living large. Bryson. Man, I've never seen anything like it in all my years. Bryson creates that fumble. Good, good hit by Bryson Kelly. But they even gained two yards on the play. So. Uh -huh. Walker split out to the left. Strickland rolls left. Knocked Goes it down. across the middle. Oh, there's a We never good turned play. around, but ball falls to the ground. You will not, you will not find two defensive <laughs> plays that worked in our advantage better than those two. Once by Jonathan and that by Kevin that. Just no, ran down there and the ball no, hit him in the back. No look defense. <laughs> <laughs> Paying uh, off big. Usually when you see that big number, it's not good news if you're a defensive back. But it, it, anyway, fortunate enough for us, Tornadoes take over first and 10 from the 21-yard line with 59 seconds left here in the third quarter. Uh, big stop by the defense. See if we can't get something going on offense and score quick here, Tony. Yeah, that's what we needed right there. And uh, Shout out to Coach Butler, Jeff Butler, uh, watching the tornadoes, cheering them on. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. The time I spent uh, helping with the team. Jeff was always gave good instructions. So we got a bunch formato, uh, bunch formation for the tornadoes with Chavez in motion now. And I think we're going to take a timeout. And oh. Bryson Kelly is not happy with that. We're going to take a timeout with them. You're listening to Tornadoes Football on Squirtle. Diesel Horse Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Diesel Horse works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Diesel Horse Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Diesel Horse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands. All right, we're back here at Western Heights. 59 seconds left in the third quarter. Drumright's got a first and 10. Bryson Kelly takes a snap, rolls to his left, breaks a tackle, still on his feet. Finally knocked out of bounds. Looks like uh, Strickland. That's what we're going to pick up a first down here. Clock stopped with 52 seconds left. They're going to, it's going to be first and 10 from the 35, Tone. Yes, sir. Keep the sticks moving and the clock Stop. still. Yeah. <laughs> be nice to be able to get one back this quarter before this quarter ends. You know what? Cole Gregory, Gregory spread out to the left. Jonathan Chavez to the right. Bryson Kelly pumps, looks, throws. Got a one-on-one -on -one oh. with Little contact there, no nothing, call. Nothing, nothing. Strickland on the coverage. There's no such thing as face guarding in high school football anymore, but I, I couldn't tell if there was a whole lot of contact there or not. Yeah, Strickland on the coverage uh, for the Comets. Going to bring up second down. 
uh, for the Tornadoes. 45 seconds left to go in this quarter. Play clock on 25. Oh. Tornado's wide receiver right and left. Mock in the backfield with Kelly. Kelly takes a snap, looks. Brought down after a minimum gain. He was going to take it to the outside and then put his foot in the ground and cut it back in the middle. And not, a, not a lot of room to run there. Velma's done a good job of bottling them up after that first quarter for sure. So. Brings up third down. Nine for the Tornadoes. Clock 13. Play clock at 20. Not a lot of urgency not, here to get I don't this think playoff. They're going to try to get a playoff, Gene. Well, I was hoping they would, but they're not. The quarter's going to end Cole Gregory before they can get it out there and get lined up in formation. So, seen Cole Gregory line up at tight end, and you know that earlier in the year, about two games ago, uh, Cole lines up at tight end, and they hit him on a on a deep slant from the tight end position. They <laughs> ran a slant. Mm-hmm. At home, we were at home, and he was. We had the ball on about the uh, 35, and Cole, Cole ran that route, and he hit him, but he got called back. Remember that? Or no, he's overthrown. One of yeah. the few times Bryson uh, Kelly had an overthrow. So um, I keep looking for him to go back to that play at some point in time. Well, Comets. we're going to have to come up with something because we got a third down and long here. So Comets. 44, Tornadoes 30, and uh, fourth quarter left, so rubber's going to hit the road right here. 12 minutes in your season do. here, Tom. That's right. It's been a fantastic uh, season for the Tornadoes, and and it's been a great ride, and when it's not over yet, we can still do this. Um, it's just a little more difficult with only 12 minutes left here. Got to get every break in the world, and I keep forgetting we're playing Velma, and they're, we're not going to get any breaks. So they're the break capital of America, <laughs> I think. You know, uh, from round one to now, we got some conversation going on between the zebras here. Our kids are lined up and ready to go, and the officials are still talking. They're talking about what what eating place is going to be open after we leave here. <laughs> I hope that's not what they're talking about. <laughs> uh, I don't care how long it takes. To make sure we get it right. Don't know what we're talking about, but we just get it right. Yep, that's, that's the main thing. Man, look at how many guys the comments have up in, in, in the first four yards. Um. Bryson Kelly, it really doesn't matter how many they got up there. Get a block up there. There you go. Hey, there's a nice move by Bryson. He's still on his feet. And uh, they, they they can put – you're only allowed eight players, but I think they could put nine in the box, and Bryson's nine times out of ten is going to do something about it. That, that was a good block by uh, Jackson Mock out there on the edge. He, and Bryson was just reading that block, and he just followed him and got some extra yards on that play. But good execution by the Tornadoes yeah. right here. Yeah, that – that takes patience to wait for a block to happen out there. And Bryson Kelly's done it all year. I knew a guy named Tony Lee that used to have that patience. Yeah. He was good at waiting on those blocks. Yeah. Trips to the right. Tornadoes. First and ten. Bryson Kelly looking to go off the left side. Breaks one tackle. Lowers his shoulder. And uh, Walker went down low there to. Hit Bryson about the knees. And That's a smart business decision. Yeah, Walker's a big old kid, though, but he's not Bryson Kelly by any stretch. So, That stopped the clock. It's a good thing. Play clock, though, at 25. Second and five for the Tornadoes. They're showing trips to the right. Chavez. Gregory and Mock pass out to Chavez. He uh, finally reels it in, but he's in trouble now. That thing. Uh, 
I'm going to lose 15 yards on that play. On the stop for the Comets. More than that. <coughs> number 15, Landon Richardson. And uh, number four. We're going to kill the clock today uh, with an injured quick. player or not? There we go. The to guy, the, the, the official the, the, the that's day, standing Junior. right there watching yep. it has not didn't kill it. The referee who had his back to the player on the ground had to call it. So, Who do we have? With a cramp. I think that's Chavez with a cramp. We'll take a quick break. We'll check on Jonathan when we get back. You're listening to Tornado Football on Scordle. ...of companies fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. We're back here at Western High, High School. Tornadoes are trailing 44 to 30. But we have a drive going. We're third and 17 from the Velma Alma 34 yard line. Got a, got a shout out for Miss Helen Geyer, who's watching the game in Branson, Missouri. Hope she's enjoying it and hope she uh, can get us a, a comeback victory here. That's right. That's right. Bryson's got trips to his left. He takes the ball going to his left. Uh, took about five or six uh, comments with him. Um, it's going to bring up fourth and about, long. Yeah, Tom. yeah. We're going to have fourth and long here. And this, this is big time. I mean, I know that wasn't intentional, but it did look like it was helmet to helmet uh, there at the end. That's a tough game. We play football. You lower your helmet, you're going to get hit in the helmet. Yeah, they like calling it to <laughs> I like your I like your homer. I'm glad I'm not playing or or you're coaching and I'm refereeing because you and me we have the business out there going on, trying to get well, every call. If I was refereeing, maybe it'd equal out. Okay, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> trips out to the right for the tornadoes. Bryson Kelly takes a snap. This is a big play right here. Bryson loads up, throws it deep, oh. under through, and then uh, they got the interception. Uh, Going to be down on the. Eight. He fell on the ball, probably lost his air. Uh, I believe it's Strickland, which he may not. He's done everything tonight he, now. He's he's laboring. Yeah, he probably got the wind knocked out of him, or as you said, lost his air. Yeah. <laughs> Whichever <laughs> one works. Uh, well, we definitely need to turn over now. Be a good time you don't to get see that down here. You haven't seen that very often. Uh, interception from the tornadoes. Bryson's got a really high percentage quarterback rating. So, anyway, Comets trips to the quarterback's left. And man in motion. Walker gives the Walker. He's brought down immediately. Great defensive play by the tornadoes. Um, half the team in on the play. Uh, Chase Blowers, uh, Jackson Mock, uh, Owen Gray. It's going to bring up, should bring up a second down, although the young man keeping the marker down there doesn't seem to want to get it off the first down. That's going to bring up second down, regardless of what it says down there. In motion, the comments in motion, hand the ball off the Lyle up the middle, and he's brought down good, good, Two plays in a row by the uh, drum right defense. I thought he lost the football, and we we come up with a ball, but no no signal. 
Of course. He did lose his helmet, so he'll have to come off. So we're having a discussion here. <laughs> 940 left to go in the fourth. Oh, no. They're calling a personal foul something on us. Oh. I know that's a shocker, but. <sighs> wow. I hate being on this side because I can't see his signal, but. What was, I mean, I don't know who it was on or. No, no. The mystery continues. Here we go. Stricker looks, throw, hits Walker. Walker's down right there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you right now, the Kansas City Chiefs would have a tough time of beating Velma Alma with all the breaks they're getting and all the calls they're getting. <laughs> They'd be having a tough time beating them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And second down for the Comets. Walker split out to the right. Twins to the right. Quarterback Strickland takes it down. Got Jonathan Chavez on the play for the Tornadoes along with uh, number 69, Tanner Willing. That's the good old days when you hold somebody up and somebody drills somebody. That's exactly what happened there. Chavez had him by the jersey and Willing coming and put right L to the ear hole. Charles just sent me a text. He said he thought that was a face mask. Of course. Of course it was. <laughs> Third down for the Comets. Strickland takes it up the middle. Bows his way to a first down for the Comets. That's not what we needed to see right there. We really need to get the ball back, Gene. Yeah, this, this Strickland kid, just a sophomore, and uh, he's, playing, he's playing well for them. He's telling them, roll the time, and they're not listening. He's going to wear his arm out tonight. Yeah, he's going to need rotator cuff surgery for sure. Twins right for the Comets. Akers and Walker out, split out. Lyle in the backfield with Strickland. Strickland takes a snap, hands off to Lyle, and there's good defensive play by the Tornadoes. Chase Creekmore on that tackle right there. Met him first in the backfield along with Owen Gray. Chase Creekmore and Owen Gray. They've been, been busy getting back here tonight. Owen Gray's been back in the backfield several times. 7.42 left to go in the quarter. Uh... Comets with a second and nine. Walker split out to the right. Lyle in the backfield. Walker in motion. I'm sorry. That's uh, Akers split out to the right. Strickland takes it up the middle. Big gain for the Comets. Jackson Mock on the stop for the Tornadoes. He got the first down. Referee looking back to make sure he got it right. Hmm. I, I bet the odds are pretty darn good that they got this first down. Yeah. If I were a betting man. All right, so, guys, we're up here in the booth. Do they got it or not? You think they got it? Yes. I don't want them to, but I think they did. Well, I mean. By half a ball. <laughs> by the nose of the football. Here it comes. Shocker. <laughs> First down. Yeah. Well, 7-12 left to go in the fourth. We've we've got to we've got to put a we've got to put a stop to the bleeding. We've got to get the ball back. You know, we we make fun of it, you know, getting all the breaks and stuff, but they're making their own breaks. I mean, you know, we could we could <laughs> laugh about it all we want, but they're making the plays here. So let's go let's go make one right here, get a turnover and Strickland hands off to Lyle up the middle and they grind that out. He busts through there and it's Lyle scoring for the Comets. Um 
We had three missed tackles on that one play right there, and he goes all the way for the touchdown. 53-yard score for the Comets. I tell you what, these, if this game ends the way it, it, it is right now, these kids are going to look at this film and regret that, regret some of those missed tackles. But, you know, can't fix it now. Well, this isn't something that they, they're they doing on a weekly basis. I mean. Well, it doesn't matter what you're doing in the week's past. I know it, but when you look, you're right. When they look at that game film, they're going to. Strickland, hand off to Lyle. Lyle, Matt. There's two, a good tackle. Two-point conversion is not going to. Not going to count here. Good play by the Tornadoes. Tanner Willing there on the side. Tanner scout. Willing's been really active tonight in the midst of all this. He's, I know he's playing through, playing through a little a knee injury that's been bothering him most of the year. 6:53 left to go in the fourth. Well, I know, I know it's a lot of disappointment amongst us up here for sure, and probably some of the all the fans out there, but, you know, this has been one of the Cinderella seasons of all Cinderella seasons. I mean, these kids have gone 12-0, and 0, uh, won a district title, number two ranking in Daly, Oklahoma, and every bit of the accolades and credit is well-deserved. Um, I don't think they played their best game tonight. I don't think they played their best uh, – that they could, but uh, you don't get a second chance in, in uh, playoff play, so, you know, we can praise them for what they did, and, man, they have had a heck of a season, but tonight they just haven't haven't had the whatever it is, the mojo or whatever you want to use, so. I don't care if this score was 100 or 30, I'd still love these kids, so. Yeah, and their heart, and they've they put the work in this year, most definitely. Uh, they're very coachable, uh, <laughs> and they're great young men. So good catch by Cole Gregory of the line drive. Yeah, fills it cleanly. I mean, we. I mean, you can see the, you know, <clears throat> their faces and their body language. But uh, I think we can go out here and score a touchdown and finish strong. They got a great group of seniors this year, you know, seven of the seniors, and they provided great leadership for this group that will be coming up next year. And uh, I believe with the coaching staff that we have and and the way the administration is backing them, I think Tornado football is definitely heading in the right direction for sure. Kelly takes a snap, looks, dumps a, sc dumps a little uh, screen pass over to – I think that's Kevin, Kevin Mock or Kevin Gooch. Kevin Gooch, number 28 on the reception. Ball just short of the 50. No gain on the play. That never really developed into anything. 6.30 left on the clock. 29 on the play clock. Well, I just want to thank everybody that's made the trip, the hour and 10-minute trip to Oklahoma City here to support the Tornadoes. We've got a big following here, and, and they're proud as heck of these kids. That's right. That's right. Chavez split out to the right. Cole Gregory to the left. Bryson Kelly keeps it, looking for running room, breaks a few tackles. Gains about five on it. Uh, well, old Bryson, he's out there. You know, he's, he's giving it all he has. You know, he's, he's not going to lay down for anything or quit. So, he's going to keep fighting. Third down for the Tornadoes. Trips to the left of Bryson Kelly. Empty backfield. Bryson Kelly takes it. Looks to his left. Let's it go. Pass complete to Cole Gregory. They give him the spot he needs at the 40-yard line. Come on. Didn't That's give us forward progress. Nope. Caught the ball at the 40-yard line. Going to make a short of a yard, you, fourth down and one. You shocked about that? I, I am shocked about it. I'm more disappointed than I am anything else. Yeah. Here we go. We're going to have to earn it. We're going to have to do it quick with 5.03 five, five, five left on the, on the clock. 
And now, if we don't get this, I, you may have to keep me from jumping out of this <laughs> press box. But. I don't want you to jump out of the <laughs> press box. Here. Twins right. Kelly takes a snap. What's worked all year did not, didn't look like got enough this time. No, he stopped a yard short. That's a yard short. Uh, and, uh. You know, I hate a yard to, shorter than that spot should have been. I, I no, I hate to be negative on that, but my goodness, that's, that's, that's what a bad spot and a yard short will get you. <laughs> Turnover on downs. Man. That's uh, kind of the way the whole night's went. Yeah, it is. It's kind of, it kind of is just the way it is. You get the ball on the 40, you get it spotted on the – You can, they spotted a yard short. You, Strickland hands the ball off to Lyle up the middle. Met with a host of tornadoes. Well, one tornado fan just she's voiced still into the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah she we summed still. it up in one one verse there. Yeah, didn't she? yeah. Four twenty-two left to go in the quarter. We were second and seven. Well, I can say one thing tonight. I I haven't seen any quit in the tornadoes. I haven't seen them dial it in. I haven't seen them back off anything. It's just been Walker split out to the right, hand off to Lyle. They're going to keep running it because they want that clock to go tick, tick, tick. Chase Blyers on the tackle along with uh, help from some other tornadoes. Number five. Jackson Mox played a good, played well at linebacker tonight. Oh, I tell you somebody who's played a good ball game, and that's that Chase Blowers. He's played his his last football game as well as can be played. The guy comes out and does everything he's asked to do, and then some. So. Third and short for the Comets. When that's worked for them a few times tonight, hasn't it, Gene? A little. Well, that just sums up our whole night right there. <laughs> yeah. They're going to bring Jackson Bolton in to take Willing's place. And Here comes Chase Creekmore. No. They're going to leave Bolton back in there on defense. Yeah. It, it, this is his first snap, right, Gary? Yeah, so yep. this is his first snap on defense. Yep. First and ten for the Comets with 3.09 left to go in the game. Jackson Bolton, along with six other seniors, possibly playing their last game of the career. Uh, twins to the right for Strickland. I think this game would have been over at 9 o'clock if that clock keeper would run the clock when they're supposed <laughs> to. Yeah, they're running it right on time now, though. Um, play clock down to 18. He's going to milk it. Snap. Hand off to Lyle. Met immediately. Good play by Owen Gray and the Tornadoes. Ball was on the ground, and uh, I'll give you a guess who recovered it. Well, there's a uh, Jackson Bolton, by the time uh, 6'5", 300 pounds, fights you for it. He may end up with it <laughs> with 2.30 left to go in the fourth. Um, they got it back. Yep. Well, I mean – I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it looks like our season is going to come to an end tonight here in Western Heights. All we can do is praise these kids and the seasons they've had and and uh, all the history they've made and uh, thank them for what they've done and what they're going to do in the future. That's right. The arrow is pointing out for the Tornadoes. Handoff goes to Lyle up the middle. And Jackson Bolton, uh, Kevin Gooch on the stop for the Tornadoes, along with Owen Gray. Chase Creekmore checks in at nose guard. Uh, that's another guy 
he's coming back for the Tornadoes. Uh, and he's played just about everywhere a guy can play this year. Yeah, he's got a bright future in a Tornado uniform for sure. It's a helpless feeling when you're out there and you know you can't do anything about it knowing this is about it, huh? Yeah. One minute left to go in the game, five on the play clock. Strickland takes a snap, hands off to Lyle. Lyle. And gain of about two, but not going to be able to stop the clock. 45 seconds left to go in the game. One more play. Well, if they hadn't planned the play clock, you know, there's going to have to be, they're going to have to snap it one more time. Velma Alma fans on their feet. Knowing they're moving on to the semifinals next week. Don't know who won the Yellow King game, but. They'll be taking on the winner of that contest. In our district, fared really well. A lot of teams advancing with 12 seconds left to go in this game. We're all going to become Regent Prep fans. Yeah, Regent. Strickland takes a snap, looks. He's just going to scramble around, try to buy time. He's being chased by Cole Gregory. He slides down nice. there. That's going to end the game. Tornado fans, we've had a fantastic season. Nobody ever wants to see it in, but uh, all the credit goes to the coaching staff. 10-0 uh, and 0 regular season, as Gene said a while ago, district champs. Uh, we went to places we haven't been before, uh, such as this uh, quarterfinal. And uh, Gene, you got anything? Yeah, just, you know, these kids have paid the road for future teams to travel on. So you need people like that to do it, and these teams, these kids have done it. Uh, I know they're disappointed. Heck, I'm disappointed. Uh, they didn't play their best ball game tonight, and uh, they go to, on the short end of the stick tonight, 50 to 30. But like I said, all can have a good season, and, uh, and uh, they, these kids are deserve – the recognition they they have gotten and most certainly and uh, matter of fact, you see them around town. You might pat them on the back and tell them thank you. Uh, yeah, I mean, this town, uh, our town, uh, more people got involved as this season rolled on than I've seen in a long time. And I'm looking down at the fan base here, and uh, there's been a lot of years when we haven't had uh, the fan base. Um, at the ball games like we have at this ball game, and the excitement and enthusiasm that this season has brought to our town, and uh, this is a reality that it can happen in drum right. It yeah, can absolutely. Well, we're going to sign off now, Tony. I just uh, want to tell you thank you again. Thanks to the school board, the superintendent for allowing us to bring the games to you. I've had a fun time. It's it's been. Uh, it's been something I look forward to every Friday. So I, I appreciate you and Gary and, and Jason and Jamie and, and Brett and all the people that's run the clock in, or run the camera for us. Couldn't do it without you. Uh, just had a great year. Yeah, everything you said, I 110% I agree with. So uh, feels a little weird knowing you're going to sign off for the last time this year. But. Yeah. Well, I, you know, just to say that I'm, we're, Gary and I are going to bring basketball to you. So yeah. uh, we're, we'll be working on a schedule, and, and the boys and the girls both will be covered. So we'll be uh, covering tornado football, uh, basketball, probably starting real soon because both these teams. I know Velma's moving on, but both these teams are going to be good in basketball as well. So we're looking forward to the basketball season now that football's finally hit it in the end. Not the way we wanted it at the end. We wanted to hold that goal ball high in the air and put it in the trophy case and, and uh, be remembered forever. But uh, some things, not God's plan, and he's got plans for something else, so we'll just have to find out what it is. Tony, anything before we get off here? No, I just thank everybody for tuning in and, and watching uh, these student athletes all year and, and following on so many people, um, grandparents, people that work late, all that don't don't live close get to see it and I, I appreciate the administration for bringing it to 
uh, those people who have probably wanted to see their grandkids and, and relatives and just follow tornado football like a lot of our classmates had got to this year. So, I can I can imagine when they first started this thing, they thought, "Man, we don't want to do that," you know. But they didn't know how how big it would become because uh, people love to watch this stuff, and they had the technology to do it now. So, I, I think they've uh, really come to like it and expect mm-hmm. it. So, I, I we appreciate them. But Tony, again, thanks for everything. Gary, thank you. Uh, we'll be talking to you soon. And uh, for all you people watching all year long. Continue to uh, watch Tornado Basketball in the future. And uh, for the last time tonight, we're going to be signing off from Western Heights. Your Tornado's on the short end of the stick tonight, 50-30 to 30 to uh, Al- Velma Alma. And uh, that'll be all for us. So, uh, good night, everybody. Stream with Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out.